friends. Hey, Gigi. Hi, hey, Margie. Gigi. Hi, Margie. Hey, happy paper people. Hey, everybody else. If you're watching on a replay, we hope sometime that you can join us live. We also hope that you'll join us in our Happy Paper People Facebook group where you can see lots of fun makes. How are you guys doing tonight, Gigi and Margie? We were yes. early. We thought we would shock you and be early before everybody else, everybody else is thinking we can get in there late. They're never on time. Oh, yeah? You just wait. We're getting all organized now. We're always going to be on time and, and early. We're going to throw people for a loop, Sharon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Totally. Oh, so, how are, how are you, you guys been doing today? It's like a little private party for a moment here. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, Sharon, it's been thunderstorming here all day. <gasps> I'm so jelly. I know. I thought about you and thought I would tell you because I know how much you love thunderstorms. It's been amazing. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Doug is doing great. Thank you for asking. He um, actually didn't even have to take a pain pill until today. Now that the swelling has gone down, the pain is there, but it's not super bad. One pain pill, he's only had one pain pill. It took it around noon, I think. Um, so, you know, maybe eight, every eight hours, but he's doing great. He looks good, feels good. He's following all the doctor's orders, doing what he's supposed to do so he can get through it quickly. And he really appreciates all the thoughts and prayers. He's just so amazed at our community and how awesome everybody has been hi mom well Gigi, my mother is I'm here sorry you're not feeling good um oh, Gigi. So you get to watch yeah. i hear an echo do you i don't well Gigi, does ice or heat ever help if it does maybe you can get on that for a little while and see if you can get them to ease up a bit and then because we're here for three hours maybe we can uh Get you in here at some point. Have you already showed him that? Uh -uh. I'm show him or just watch. Like yeah. Watch oh. it, but All right. We'll probably mention it. Well. But either way, we're, we'd are we love to have you here in chat, even if you're not able to play. That means you could chat more, right? So I brought a few things to my desk here. I uh, did a bit of... Uh, I had to rinse them because I'm super allergic to these fig leaves, but look how big this is. I thought half of this on a page Whoa. for some writing space would be amazing. You're allergic to them? Well, they make me itch. Um, they kind of have this milky substance that comes out, oh, yeah. and I don't know if mm -hmm. it helps, but... And these, wow. um, this is this beautiful uh, shrub that we planted, in, and I don't remember what it's called, but everybody always thinks it's That's marijuana. Cool. It is not. I will no, tell you. No, that it isn't. Is <laughs> No, I don't know what it's called, but it has these weird five leaves. So everybody always does a double take in the backyard. Um, no, it's beautiful though. It's a beautiful hey, plant. And then before it, we go on, we I have a question. Okay. I have a question. I need to confirm. Is it Talisa, Talisha or is it Felicia? Felicia. It's what? Felicia. Is it said with TH or is it said with a uh, T? I believe I believe so because they uh, address her in the um, uh, lives on Sundays. On Sunday morning. Correct? Okay. Is that correct? Okay. I, I, All right. I, couldn't remember. Oh. I couldn't remember what they said. <laughs> so, okay, I'll say Felicia. Felicia, if I'm wrong and it's only said with a T, please correct me. Yeah, let us know. Please. But hi, Shul right. Felicia. Welcome. Hi. Oh, uh, hey, Mariah. He is jumping. Nice. Hi, Mariah. Hi, Patricia, who's over at the other desk gel printing. Hi, Toby. Yeah, yeah, Kiltman lives another day. He's doing quite well. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Okay, so Mariah says that is correct. It is Felicia. We're glad to have you guys here. Um, we'll talk so about the collaboration in a little bit when more people are here so everybody can, can hear about it. Anybody who missed out so far, anyway, go ahead, Sharon. I'm sorry for interrupting, but I wanted oh, it's to. Okay. Make right. sure I was sorry. Her name right. I hate saying names wrong. Yeah, yeah. I always feel so bad. Hi, Toby. Um, I pulled out some paints that I've had forever. I mean, like 20 years, some of them, and uh, 
I can't believe they, they're so good. They're pretty thick. But I wanted to use some up. And my goal tonight is to use some autumn colors uh, for some autumn projects. Um, I have a, a box that I'm wanting to do as well. So I think um, some of these will be for that. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> and oh, that no, was I, I, I told you to go ahead because I had interrupted you. So um, no, I just wanted to verify her name of this. Uh, I see Tina came in. Hi, Tina. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Oh, you got your jelly plate? Yay. And don't know what to do with it? Good. Carrie, are you able to pull it out tonight and play with this? Um, because we can talk through some things and you can try some things while watching. Or are you just watching tonight? Either way, it's good. But if you're able to um, try, that way, if you have questions as you go, you can pop them into comments. What if someone's name is actually wrong? Then you have to say it wrong. You're right, Margie. Then I would say, hi, Ron. How are you? <laughs> it just sounds Ron. <laughs> Tina, I how are you doing? I got did something that I felt so bad about it um, during the video hop. I uh, uh, was reading off the list of names and I... Uh, mm -hmm was reading quickly and I accidentally called Felicia Melissa and I knew better, but I was reading off <laughs> and so I did send oh. a message and said, I'm sorry, but. Um, oh, I'm uh, sure she totally understands. We've all yeah. done something like that at yeah, some point. I so, know. Guys, no. this is a five by seven gel plate and I typically don't clean off my gel plates. And this is funny because last time I, I haven't used this with the last two or three or four times we've gel plated. I only pulled out my like 14 by 16 and that's the only one I used. So I pulled out a whole bunch this time, eight by tens, uh, five by seven circle, all the little guys um, to do a bunch of different things. And this one had a lot of good crunchies on it from last time, but the whole top was coated in this pink and I turned it over and look what's underneath it. And so I really want to get it to pick up all this stuff. So I just did um, one thin coat of light ivory on it and it hardly picked up anything at all. So I did another coat of light ivory and I'm letting it sit there a little bit longer because I really want it to pick up all those good crunchies. I love the color on this. It's going to be amazing if, it, if I can get it to pick all that up. I just love all those good crunchies anyway. Yes, I do too. But this is like a whole page of it, not just here and there or edges. We get a lot of good edges, but oh, it's just, it's tearing off. It's been on there so long. Well, I might end up with three or four prints from this picking the whole thing up and they'll, they'll all just have a bunch of crunchies here and there. I see it starts to come up and then it pulls off, tears off. I'm going to read some comments. Margie says she doesn't care what anybody calls her. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't call you late for dinner, right, Margie? Hi, Lisa. Okay. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. So some of you, have you for people? You see some new people here. Felicia is one of the ones that was part of our collaborative hop. Um, Lisa, which is Sirius Hecka, was in the collab hop, and you know Mariah and Patricia. Um, Mariah is the one that put the collab together and did all the work. Um, they were also in the collab hop, and there were a few more. Hopefully, they'll get a chance to pop in tonight. So we wanted to kind of promote it. Hopefully, everybody would be here. Um, if you if you haven't seen it, guys, both Sharon and my. Um, video is up in the group and it's got a link to go into it and so if you go into either one in fact if you go into mine first mine links to sharon's and then sharon's links to the next person and they all link so at the when you come to the end of the video it's got a link to click just to go straight to the next person or i think it'll just go straight to the next person if you don't click it if you just wait for it to do on on its own and then you can see all of them. There's eight of them. There's seven channels, eight makers, because Sharon and I are one channel, two makers. And um, it's cool. Mariah gave us all six prompts and said, everybody use at least three of these and make something. 
And it's really fun when you do that to see eight people, how they're going to come up with um, or how they're going to use those things, what they're going to come up with. You know, everything's going to be different. And I will say there weren't there weren't any two things that were even close to being alike. No, there weren't. <laughs> in this, which is really cool. So as you look through, you might get some ideas, some inspiration. You might like some more than others. Um, but because they're all so completely different, it's that super fun. Super, I'm going to do a couple fun. of layers here. <clears throat> Hi, honey. I hear crutches in the hallway. Hi, honey. <laughs> Either way. Oh, Sharon just said, hi, honey. Did you hear? He said <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, so I have a pile of coffee filters out here that I've had in my art room forever. And I keep forgetting about them. And I thought it, oh, there would be thinking about down little crevices when you're trying yeah. to paint away. Margie I'm says, hi, honey. <laughs> I was thinking about coffee filters today too, Sharon. And I thought, oh, I've got enough stuff out here. I won't get them. That's fine. Oh my I'm gosh, I have so out. much stuff. <laughs> I have a I'm ridiculous amount of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. We always do. We always have way more than we can even get to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mariah says, next month we're going to do a similar um, collab hop, but the theme will be spooky scrolls. That's, um, that's fun. That's, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That will be fun. Carrie, will all, all of that come off the plate? Yes, it will. It's taken me multiple pulls to get all this off the plate because this has been sitting on here for literally, um, probably close to eight months. Wow. That's probably close to eight months. Yeah. Because the last four. Marianne. Huh? How many plates do you have? I have one 14 by 16. I have two eight by tens. I have one five by seven. One so round one. And then the set of the settled, there's a set of six little ones of different shapes. But the last four or five times we've gel plated, I only pulled out the 14 by 16 and just did everything on that one. And this time I left that one in the closet, not the closet, in the shelf, and I pulled out all the others. So this stuff's been sitting on there, yeah, for probably close to eight months. And so it might take a minute to get it all up, but um, I love when it comes up with crunchies because I'll just do more stuff over this. I love these little metallic crunchy pieces, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's sticking on. See, this stuff is really fun. This is, I love, even if, if nothing else, I'll tear, tear this up and use this for collaging because I love those little crunchy, um, little crunchy bits that are all different colors and metallic. So yeah, it's taken this a bit to come up because as it is, it was probably six layers of stuff and then it sat there for, you know, close to what eight months so I won't say the better part of a year that just sounds like a horrible long time <laughs> just tells me I need to pull a mountain gel plate more so they have a new home now right next to my desk so I can pull them out and use them more frequently well, that's good yeah I'll use them more if they're close close at hand because I love using them I just don't like to have to dig them out so they're staying right here I'm I'm gonna do this I'm doing this right over the top. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I am. I'm going to do this right over the top and see if I can just pull some more. So this paper that I have here, uh -huh. you know that, that paper that I had from Korea, that that wrapping paper? Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, well, this was in that, and there was only one piece of this white. It was pretty large. Oh, um, wow. It's almost like cotton. It's got yeah, fiber it's on it. Yeah, you that looks like the handmade paper. It's with it all is the fibers. Handmade. I love Absolutely. it. Um, but what I found cool. earlier was um, this is what happens when you put the the um, uh, wow. set back spray on it when it gets okay. wet like that. It becomes oh, it absorbs it. Well, but it's almost transparent. It, it's got like a like a transparent vibe, uh -huh. and that's how it dries. Did Very. it absorb it though? Because it is yeah. handmade, so it probably has cotton 
yeah, and all the it fibers absorbs. in it, so it absorbs it up, and then you don't yeah. get quite the same reaction right. that you would like to have. So I just got a lot of the soggy bits off on there, so I have a mm -hmm. first layer on there, and that'll have to dry before I can yeah. use it. Because when you layer spray, or good stuff it's, to tear up and use for collage. Well, it doesn't tear very well because it's got a lot of fibers oh, in it. That's true. That's true. It doesn't. So, but it's uh, uh, the weight of it and the um, texture of it is very like a thick oh, tissue paper. Cool. So it'll be really sure. cool collage with wow. and uh, do some fun things probably. Yeah. Yep. It will. Okay. So I wanted to clean this plate see how many poles it'll take me to clean this plate. But then one of the things that I want to do is take gel prints that we've done before that are just kind of and um, kind of show you yeah, how you can make them wow, or turn them into anything you want, you know, how you can yeah. <laughs> add them up. They, I mean, you can do add some three, more. four, five layers and get some really cool stuff. This is so thick. That it's just if one part of it comes off the paper, the rest of it stays down. Look at this. I can I can just about peel it off the gel plate. So spooky scrolls, huh? That's the next mm. thing. Got my that mind sounds, going. So that's got to be October. Sounds very interesting. Here's a little. Yeah, it's actually like a piece of paint because it's so thick with so many layers. But that'd be cool on the. I'm going to hang on to that. That'd be cool. That's on, cool. On collage. You're, I like those. I you're like getting those. paint skins. That's what that is. Getting what? Getting paint skins. Yeah. Paint cool. skins, paint chips. I love them. I like sticking them here and there on collage. They look. Cool. I love metallics on gel plate. I don't know what it is about about the gel plate and metallics for me, but I got metallics out, but I also got out the, oh, uh, the uh, because I was apart. thinking Halloween, fall, those uh -huh. sort of, you know, like that. I hope my mm -hmm. green, up. but I have this plastic, um, it's okay. like an autumn leaf placemat uh -huh. and it's got, oh yeah, yeah. So I sent you one of these, didn't you sent I? Me one. I have it right here. Yep. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna it peel. If these will come off, I'm going to peel them off because I love them as little paint skins or paint chips. There are ways to make paint skins to use in art. Sure. Fun. Yeah. It would be if we needed to, if we didn't automatically get them from <laughs> stuff we do already. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes it is because you want to do something where you just want to lay down a, like a big paint skin. It would look really cool. Yeah. All right. I hope my leaves still show up that I let dry on there after all that time. The only, for an impatient person, uh, doing layers on a gel plate is the hardest part, I think. So it's almost easier for me to do one layer at a time. You know, yeah. so maybe after this one is done, I will go through and do all my base layers um, first. Part of the some. reason I like having multiple plates out, guys, is for that what Sharon just said. The hardest part for me is yeah. letting layers dry when they need to dry. Sometimes you want to put things down when they're wet, and other times you've got to let it dry. Squirty squirt right there. Um, and I get impatient. I want to move on and may not give it enough time yeah. to dry. So if I can, you know, put the paper down, let it sit there and dry while I move on to another plate. Boy, that was a bunch of... I didn't know the list was set there, uh, Patricia. Mariah? It's, Mari thought, it's Mariah. It's Mariah. On the yeah. Right? Mariah, I thought you were going to do a whole new list for the next one. Yeah. Maybe, well, maybe use one or two of the same things, but do a whole new list. That would be cool. So we are challenged with different things every time. Yeah. I, yeah. I think, yeah, altering the list each time would be, would yeah. be fun. Except there are things that we use um, regularly, like sure. stencil. 
sprays. Sure. Well, so maybe Those stencil things. doesn't have to be put on then because we do always use it. Maybe. But, and, and maybe, Mariah, maybe you think about like um, what the project is and then you pick some things specifically that you think would be cool with that project to see what people would do with them. You know what I mean? All right, let's get a different piece of paper. I'm going to go a little bit thicker, 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 a little bit thicker. Um, this is just vintage typing paper just because it's old. <laughs> so the only reason it's vintage is because it's old. Um, let's see. Hi, Heather. Hey, Heather. Okay, and other junk journal stuff. I love that name. Um, was on a pineapple run for Izzy. Ooh, I love pineapple. Yum, yum. Pineapple and banana. Eat a bite of pineapple and a bite of banana together. So yummy. How about okay, so Mariah says, oh, we can. So we can mix it indeed. Loved your bricks, Felicia, like bricks and stone. Yes. Heather, when you get a chance, message me. Okay, maybe we should send out new stencils to everyone to use in their make. Oh, that would be cool. You guys have some pretty darn awesome stencils. What would be cool is everybody getting the same couple of stencils and having to use them and see how everybody does something. I love how, seeing how yeah. people do something different with the same thing. The different Smart. interpretations with the exact same item. That to me is really cool. That's the... That is the exact description of creativity. Eight people picking up the same ingredient and coming up with something different. Hi, Julie. Hey, Julie. Julie, 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 do you love me? How you doing, Julie? Anybody else getting rain today? We're getting thunderstorms all day long. I had to run to Walmart to get Doug's prescription and um, thunder, or uh, yeah, thunder hit. It sounded like it hit the top of Walmart. The whole store just like, boom, it was crazy. Wow. Hi, Judy. How are you doing, Judy? Oh, I, hang on here. Let me get back into not that one. And not eat. Okay, I'm looking for something. Um, guys, we have something fun to tell you about. I'm going to grab a link here. Copy and paste. Hubby just heard that and said, that's my line. <laughs> that's right, John. That's right. You better be singing it to her. <laughs> uh, last thunderstorm we had hit Walmart's propane tank. Just a small fire. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's a little scary. Okay, guys, I am putting a link in the chat. This link is a new page. Let me explain. The Happy Paper People group we have right now that we are all in is a group. This link goes to the Happy Paper People page. Page and group are not the same thing. So the group is where we interact and post all our stuff and do, you know, it's private. So, you know, you can put all your makes up there and only people in the group are going to see it and all the good stuff. The page is more like... Uh, when you see a business put up a page and you can like it and follow it. So we now have a Happy Paper People page. And there's a purpose for it. Um, we are, well, there's a couple purposes, actually. One is, you guys have been trying to help us figure out, and we've all been working on or thinking about, we thinking about, not working on, I finally decided to work on it, on a way to get the Amazon affiliate link. And they will not allow a private uh, page. So by having this public Happy Paper People page, we'll be able to have our Amazon affiliate link. 
But more importantly, we are going to do special events on this page. And Sharon and I are really excited about this. Our first special event is going to start October 1st. So the goal and the reason we're telling you now is the goal is to get everybody in Happy Paper People um, to this page and like it and follow it and set the notifications so that you get notifications when there's something happening on that page, when there's a post on that page. There's not going to be tons of posts on that page like in the group because everybody's not going to go post everything on there. So when there's a post there, it's going to be something special, something important, something you want to see. So everybody, when you have a chance, click the link, go to the Happy Paper People page and like the page. And then um, maybe not right now, but when you when you can or um, later on tonight or tomorrow, whatever, go to the page and then hit invite and send it out to everybody, especially everybody that's in Happy Paper People that is in your friends list. So that we we want to make sure that everybody in Happy Paper People is aware of it and gets there so they don't miss out on the special events because they're especially for our group. But we would also like some of them to be public. And then you could also send it to anybody else you want, even if they're not in Happy Paper People, but you think they might be interested in kind of, you know, crafty stuff, art, arty stuff, crafty, arty stuff. Um, go ahead and send it to them. Doesn't mean they have to come into Happy Paper People, but they're welcome to. Okay, I've got a bunch of it up on this one, Sharon, and it also pulled off a piece of a couple of pieces of paper. It it split this paper in half and took half the paper, kept it down. So one, two, three, four. That's four pulls. I have one more will be five pulls to get yep. eight months worth of or eight months sitting <laughs> dead in the water, about six layers of stuff off of this plate. So <laughs> note to self, don't let it sit that long. If you like the colors and want to get the grunge, I could have just washed it off, but I really love these colors and wanted to get all the grunge. I hate wasting grunge. I'd rather wash fresh paint off than grunge. <laughs> the grunge is the best part. It is. I like all the stuff that gets left behind. So even if I don't like the pull, I like whatever gets left behind for the Hi, next Kelly. one. Yes, definitely. Kelly is domestic. Domestic Wild, I think. I'm not looking at the chat, but good to see you again, Kelly. And liked. Awesome. Thank you for going and liking it already. So we know that we need to get it to 1,000 to make Amazon happy. And um, where we are right now, if we get everybody in Happy Paper people uh, aware of the page and they like it and follow it, then we will be there and Amazon will be happy. But mostly we just want to do it quickly so nobody will miss out on the October 1st event. Yes, Mayhem, I know. And Daddy's thank home. You, Julie. Thank you, thank you for reminding a thumbs up. We do appreciate that. Thank you. We really do. I'm working on layers here. Oh, it tells you the link is broken? Hmm. Alicia, try it again. If it still does it, I will send you one uh, private message and see if that will work. Actually, hang on, Felicia. I can probably, I'm already in there because I grabbed the link. So I can probably just go to where, where, where? Way too much paint. Now I got Julie stuck in my head. <laughs> I love it. It's a good song, though. I decided I was going to do it landscape this time because generally, if I am gel plating with, you know, because this is my the one I use most often, the other ones uh -huh. that I have are, are DIY. Um, and this size seems to work, but I decided that um, I usually fold anything in half this way and make small books with them when I do it or I decoupage with them. So right. I wanted to try landscape to 
it helped me out, you know. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, if you notice on that uh, page across the top, it says home about services events. Pretty soon you will see an upcoming event in there. The first one of many, we hope, but uh, all, all of a sudden it's not giving my me my invite. Um, there okay, won't be a ton of stuff on there. It's just when we have something going on, nope. like a- it'll only, be this, it'll only be special events. Yep. It'll only be special events or special um, announcements or things like that. Um, but it's not like you're going to have to keep up with two groups now because it's not a group. No. The group is still the group. Yeah. The group doesn't change. So if I've left this on long enough to pick that up. I'm rolling off on hey, the side. Thanks, Margie, for the message. <laughs> Thank you for the message, Margie. Appreciate it. It's funny. Sometimes it'll roll back off on something, and sometimes it won't when you have yes. a pencil. I need like six tables around me here. There we go. Okay. Um, all right. Felicia, did you get in? Let me go back over here. Let's see, I'm missing, missing some comments. Got it. Mariah saves the day. Julie, what happened? Charlotte, the phone left out the word awesome in her last comment. Let me go back to your last comment, Julie. See what it says. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's <laughs> oh, that's exclamation point. That's awesome. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you, Mariah. Judy's going so to get have... dinner. What, what, now what happened? I'm sorry, I'm digging no, through paper. Julie... Oh, Julie went in, she went to and to write, oh, that's awesome, exclamation point. And her comment came out, oh, that's exclamation point. It left off awesome. Hey, Debbie. Which I thought was awesome. <laughs> <That is laughs> Look at that. We got a clean poll. It took five polls to get all of that, about six layers up that's been sitting there for eight months. But it all wow. came out. So that's Carrie, really interesting. Yeah, what's what I mean, what that shows you is if it doesn't come up right away, don't go, oh, I'm doing it wrong or it doesn't work or whatever. That's thick. There's like you six layers, literally. That's what's happening. And it just I had to do do six polls six different times to get all the layers up, but it all came up and it came up clean. So I'm gonna swap this five by seven out for this eight by ten right here. I'm using the other eight by 10 to roll off on and right now. It's all black because <laughs> I just rolled all black. Okay. Uh, I've been thinking, has anyone tried using black paper on the tree? Yes. Julie, I, got some you know? uh, I actually have some black paper here. I wanted to use it for metallics. Yeah. I was planning yeah. on using it with metallics too. Great minds. Cool. Again. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Did you just see my visitor? Oh, she no. just streaked she across up? the, uh, yeah, Thank she's streaking. Hi, Suze. Hi, Suze. Um, guys, I just wanted to mention to you, this is the item that I made in that collab. So if you go into the group and you just scroll quickly to find the picture that looks like this, you can click on the link and it'll get it into mine. It'll go to Sharon's. It'll go on to everybody else's. There's eight of them. This was so much fun. This was really cool. This started out as um, something that I had gel printed and it was actually metallic and teal and all kinds of bright colors. And I turned it into a little book and bound it in leather. And I did end up going after the video, after I filmed it all, I ended up using alcohol ink to darken. I just wanted more depth um, around here and inside the design it's almost like a sundial 
but I wanted some more depth. And so I used some, a couple, two, three different shades of alcohol ink to get down in there and get that depth. And that isn't on the film, but it's so fun. Watch it. And what I really want to challenge you guys to do is we always give the list of the items that Mariah gives us to use for the, the collab challenge. And you see what we make from it and you can see all eight. Take that list yourself and go um, make something and then post it in the group and show us what you made with the same list of prompts. That's what I like to see. That is totally fun seeing what everybody else. Kind of like when we do the tell us what to do and you guys yeah. uh, use those items to make something. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's cool. You know, if you have, Julie, here's something that I did on black paper. It's just in my uh, folder of, and there's a metallic on top of that. So, but you can see the roses through it. There's three, I think three layers on here. And that's just on black. Here's another one that I did on black. And this one was just playing with a bunch of things to see what they would do. That pink looks awful. So awesome. I need to do some more, but I got some good crunchies over here picked up, but I really don't like that pink. So I can do some more over the top of that and make it usable. I like having the same prompts and having 20 people do it and see 20 different ways that people come up with to use them and what, you know, how they interpret it. I, I just think that that's, I think it's just fascinating to see how everybody's mind works differently and creativity is different. I've got a small stack of, of uh, prints that need more that I had from before that next year. Oh, I got a huge stack of those. <laughs> In fact, maybe that's what I'll start with. That one, that had black on the bottom, but it's not black paper. Okay, so maybe what I'll do, I'll take some that are, this has, and I were playing with some inks and just wanted to see. There's some dark ones, some super light. I'm going to pull out a bunch that are just, they're great backgrounds, uh, but they need to be built on. This one is not parchment paper. It is um, uh, off of a, is this the one off the roll? Let me feel this real quick. Yeah, it's off of this roll. Or is this the one that is, yeah, this is the one off the roll. I have another one that is um, uh, old finger painting paper from the uh, 60s or the 70s that's supposed to be mm -hmm. non-porous. But oh. it, it says it's non-porous, but um, it is, is porous? I tried it just briefly with some alcohol ink, but mm -hmm. it does out, uh, yeah, it does out. Mm. Yeah. But this paper actually is a nice, um, if I roll off on it too much, I noticed it was tearing, but it, it's fine mm -hmm. for a pull and it would be great for collage. It's nice and thin. Speaking of leaves, one of the last times we um, did gel printing, I went out and pulled some leaves off my maple tree and this is what I did with those. So anxious to see yours. Here's some things that came from the round one that look like worlds. That's I love I this love one. That one. Looks like a world. I really oh, love it. And you it. said you brought some feathers tonight. Here's one I did with feathers. That was the yeah, same night. Yeah, sitting here on my desk. Yeah, to me, that one can really be built on. It's really light and feathery. <laughs> so I'm just pulling out some that I want to build on that um, maybe great backgrounds, great starts. But And I think maybe... Um, what I'll do, there's another feather one. Here's kind of a cool feather one. Let's see, can you see the feather? Can you see, maybe you can't see the feather in that one. There's a lot of metallic and it ends up shining. Um, Carrie, Carrie, you're still here, right? There's a feather one. All these were with the same feather, kind of the same poles. First, second, third, fourth. 
adding something to it each time. Let's see. All right, Carrie, if you are still here, then what I might do is show you how to take a just a clean piece of paper and how to even get started. Because you're, I know, wondering. Um, see, here's ones where we're just trying out certain stencils and different paints, and you know, there's nothing to it. Oh, here's a an image I pulled from a magazine. Liked her. So these all need to be built on. Oh, I didn't even, I had forgotten about some of these. I've got so many that need to be built on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. Mary, would you like me to just start with a clean piece of paper and kind of um, go through doing a couple things to, so that you know, like here's a place that you could just even start? Because I know you're kind of feeling like, what do I do with this gel plate now that I got it? Um, uh, Julie, talk to me later, please. <laughs> that was not a demand, please. Margie, uh, you know, Margie, I'm always grateful to know that you'll be there watching because if everybody's doing it, then there's nobody in the chat to talk to. So <laughs> we've got to have somebody to, somebody to spectate, right? All right, I got some plain paper here. Let me grab, we'll do a couple things in a couple of different ways. So what are you working on now, Sharon? Um, I just pulled the most spectacular print on a black and white, but, uh, or on a black paper with gold. And it has uh -huh. the purple, but you can, it's, it's, I mean, I can see it, but I'm sure it's not showing up on on mm -hmm. uh, camera. I want to add some white to it, so I, I actually. It, but I would like to. Um, so I'm adding another color because I feel like. Oh no no! Don't move. I hate that. Okay, let's try that again. Um, you'll see my. Uh, I know we talked about this. This is an old. See the cracks. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Little hand, got little finger grips on the side, and it weighs like three pounds. Um, mm -hmm. These parts flip up, and there's nails in there, and they hold this vintage felt that I have, this upholstery felt, um, and it's perfect for this because it's heavy. It fits my hand just right. Um. Mariah, I need some big swirly stencils. I've got lots of things with lots of design. I need some with big swirls or waves, things like that. Oh, hi, honey. He's alive and doing well. Thanks to all of your well wishes, thoughts, and prayers. Can't tell you how much your text and messages mean to me and Marianne. Yes, that is true. Aww. Well, you ask him yourself, Suze. He's right there. <laughs> That's funny. Sue's just asked, how's Doug? And there he is. Yeah. He just in. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do, I was looking for something a little more open. So you know why? For anybody that's not experienced with the gel plate or the Margies that don't like to get their hands uh, painty, <laughs> um, my paper is just a little bit too thick to get into those little grooves. And I was trying to create some white space over that, which is, you know, fine. I'll do it again with something else, but maybe I'll do that not on the gel plate because mm -hmm. it would be easier. Um, but now I have this on here that I get to play with, and uh, I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> uh, you have big waves like the ones we sent, but it's like, yes, yes, even five by seven would be would be great of that. Um, Carrie, Carrie, pick a color. Pick a color that we want to start with. Something pretty. 
I have a hmm. whole uh, stand of paints right next to me. You pick a color and we'll start with that. Sharon, you should make some impression plates with those stencils. Yeah, I should. Oh, we've talked about that. We've got I so have a whole tote of impression uh, gizmos <laughs> next to me um, because oh, when I first started doing this, I went around and started gathering and I do have some plates that mm -hmm. I have made, but they're not like what we were. Um, I mean, they were way back when, um, before this all began, you uh -huh. know, um, sure. yeah. I need to make some impression plates. I only have, I, I need to count how many stencils I have. I don't know. I probably have, I don't even know how many, I have so many stencils. Um, I'm going down here for purple, Carrie. Purple's way down at the bottom. This looks like a pretty violet. Oh, and I've got some metallic purple too. That one is rice paper here. Royal violet. I keep plant. seeing I'm some impression plates okay. though. Um, I just haven't right. have it. Um uh -huh, mm -mm. Yeah, the only thing I didn't do was bring in any water, but that's okay. Let me see if this brayer should have cleaned it off as soon as I did that black. Let's see how much this black will clean off here with a baby wipe. It's only a few la few layers thick, not too many. Paint's good. Just took some tramadol for the first time a few hours ago, and then it's been Tylenol. Tylenol is acetaminophen. He meant Tylenol and ibuprofen. All he's taken up till noon today was Tylenol and ibuprofen. He's done really well. Really well and not needing heavy drugs. Oh, Julie has the birds outside the window. Love that. <laughs> Spring for Julie, fall for us, right? Yeah. See, as we go into fall and we get dismal days, Julie can brighten us up with nice springy bird singing days. <laughs> I love those dismal days. I am probably the, I mean, I'm a it depends pluvial on what you call dismal. I love the rainy, yes. stormy, cloudy. I love those. Yeah. I am Morticia. I love a dismal day. <laughs> I am a pluviophile. I love the rain. I love it when it's dark. I love the rain. Happy. I love the clouds. Uh, I also love the sun. I don't like being in the sun. It just makes me sick, but I like the me bright too. of the sun. But I love the rain and the stormy days. I do love that. But right. sometimes there's dismal days in in um, winter. People get, you know, the winter blues. And dismal not necessarily by the weather, just dismal days related to winter. And Julie will lighten us all up with some summer. Gigi takes three travels every day. <laughs> oh, no. Margie hates the snow. Yeah. The snow gets harder and harder the older you get, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Margie? I don't actually, I don't hate the snow. I don't mind the snow. I like the snow. It's really pretty. What I don't care for is the ice that comes it's along gone. on the sidewalks <laughs> with the snow that make you slip and fall. That's what I'm do. Those I don't like. The ice. It's dangerous for some of us old people. <laughs> Who you calling old? Me. <laughs> me, because the ice is dangerous for me. <laughs> I'm trying to get the black off because we're going to start with a purple base here. I was letting this dry, and then all of a sudden I start wiping it again. But I realized I'd left a bunch of black on here. So we're starting with purple for Carrie. I love purple. I have all these bottles mm -hmm. cleaned up here so I can get rid of them. Margie, have no one to shovel. We need to get someone to shovel for you, Margie. That's what we need to do. What is this? Royal Violet and Violet. Let's try this Royal Violet, Carrie, and see what Royal Violet is going to give us. Okay. So it's always better to start with too little um, paint than too much. 
because you can always add more. I mean, you can always take it off too and roll it off onto something else, but it's kind of a pain. So it's always better to start with too little and go, oh, I don't have enough and add a little bit more. And I'm learning that because my nature is just to squeeze a whole bunch on there and let's go. <laughs> you know? I, okay. I have this rice paper here too, because I love collaging with rice paper. So it can be glued down to any surface I want. And then it's, you know, look at that mm -hmm. gold on the cream and white bits of green. If I keep layering that, I'm going to okay, love Carrie. it. Carrie, I just covered it in purple. That's all I did was cover the gel plate in purple. And then I placed this stencil down. And then I, with the brayer, super lightly went over the stencil just because I wanted it to impress into the paint. Okay, and now I'm gonna lift it up. And I'm gonna turn this over, over on another gel plate because I can put a piece of paper on it. And if I do it while it's wet, get some of that purple off on there. Actually, that's what I should be doing with one of those that needs more. But first I'm gonna put this one down on this plate here and pick that up now this one can sit here for a minute while i see if i can grab um where did i just put that whole stack there it is whole stack that i pulled out that needs more on it i'll put this over that purple stencil and see if i can get some of that paint off the stencil it's kind of a ghost print you don't usually get a whole lot, but you get just a little bit. And it's just another, yeah, see there? It's just another layer. Okay. Okay, so you want to pick up all this purple down here. Pretty much. And see, when you want to pick stuff up, it kind of needs to dry. Now we're going to hurry, especially when you get layers get layers on there you've got to let it dry between layers and i get impatient black pit border yeah oh i'm gonna try some of that i got that light and fluffy um, I told you that I ordered that after you guys talked about it because you love it and I've never tried it. So I ordered it. I will try it. And I'm going to try that on some black chipboard. I do like black chipboard. That mix um, with light and fluffy. That would make cool mixed media book covers. Okay, Carrie, my one tip about peeling up your paper is don't pull it straight up. Whenever you're peeling something off, roll it. Roll it back and do it slowly. If you pick it straight up, you're more likely to lose more on the plate. And if you roll it back, you're more likely to keep most of it on. We're getting a completely clean pole on this. I gave it long enough to kind of sort of dry. So all this is is purple paint with a stencil on it. And that would make a cool background to use or even a page to use in a journal and do some stuff on it, or it almost looks like tire tracks, doesn't it? Be cool on a tag too, or some cool texture. See, this is visual texture. You could use that in um, collaging would be cool too. All right, so this is a first layer and now it needs more on it, right? And it's pretty dry. Oh, can you see the glitter? I don't think that was no nope, that's not glittery paint can you see the little glitters on this or does that not show up i cannot <laughs> there's little glitters on this oh i was telling sharon right before we came on i quick recorded a tutorial about glitter and then i had to take every i had already set my gel plates up so then i had to take everything off take everything out and clean and wash it to wash the glitter off. Debbie's back there laughing, going, no, not glitter. <laughs> I did, because you all tell me that you have glitter 
and you don't know what to do with it because glitter is a mess. I don't do a lot with glitter, but this is one of my favorite things to do with glitter. And when you do it, you can do um, a whole bunch of it at one time and have it to use yeah, all year long if you wanted to and not have to do it very often. Okay, this stencil is a bunch of hearts. They're funky hearts. I think it's a Dina Wakely or a... Uh, yeah, I think it's Adina Wakely, actually. I'm going to put that down, and then I'm going to put some paint in there to make the hearts of a color, and we're going to pick them up with this. So what color hearts do we want to add on to the purple? How about red hearts? <laughs> red and purple? Or we could do a metallic, a metallic gold would be pretty. Lots of transcendental detectives in Cali that don't know beans about behaving safely in the snow. <laughs> that is true, Gary. I used to live in Alaska. Okay, there's only three months when you don't have ice and snow somewhere on the roads in Alaska. Yet every time it's the first snow, people acted like they didn't know how to drive in the snow. Drove me crazy. Gold, gold, gold. Cool. I like gold. Can I use a metallic gold? I would like to use a metallic gold. Let's see what this one is. Got these little ones that had a tear in them when I got them. Right. So I decided yeah. they would be good for uh, just clean up, like where I'm trying to get in between. Uh -huh. uh, whatever pieces of it, if I can tear them off and use, I will, because I didn't get very much of this paper. Um, so the impression plates, uh, Mariah and Patricia, that I was going to make, I actually brought a couple things up to my studio this week to do that with. And I want to try it with paint sticks so that Please I can which, then use oh, I'm sorry. them. Go ahead. Then I can Please. I can use them in, in a project on a binding or something, and um, it can make some um, sort of stripes. So I thought it would be worth a try. I just wanted to know which stencil Suze is talking about. Um, Julie, I thought you said green. Did you say gold? <laughs> Julie says gold. Carrie says gold. Julie says gold. Julie says gold. Julie says, did I say gold? <laughs> I think he said gold, Julie. <laughs> awesome, because I want to do gold with this. Gold will be great on that um, royal purple. This is a metallic gold. That says, which pencil were you talking about? With that question. Oh, chips. Oh, it sounds crunchy over there. We'll put a little bit on, see if we need more. Okay, let's get some metallic gold hearts going here. Do it again. More this time. Okay, I'm gonna brayer that off, trying to keep it somewhat clean. All right, and where am I gonna put this? Let's put it right there. I'm gonna pick up this stencil. I'm gonna put it over there as well and use that same page I used last time to see if I can pick up some of that. Um, meanwhile, here's the first one we did, just purple. I'm gonna lay that right down on here. And we're going to get us some metallic gold hearts on the purple. And I'm going to take this same page that we picked up a ghost print of the purple. I'm going to layer over the lay it on top of that stencil and just see if I can get any ghost print off that stencil. Just get the little bit of paint picked up. A little bit. It starts to give you just those metallic pieces, though, metallic flecks. So as you layer it, they peek through. All right. So as I am rubbing this one in, Carrie, another little tip that um, I find helpful is I'm rubbing it in. I can feel it's kind of cold and it feels a little damp. 
And so I know it's still wet. I want to let it get kind of close to dry before I pull it up because I want to pull up all those hearts. That'll be very cool. So I'm just rubbing it in there. The one, the stencil before the hearts. So this one, Sue's, the purple one, the one we did purple on anyway, it's a white stencil, but the one we did purple on, let me know if that's the one. <clears throat> I've had some of those stencils in the past at sales. I don't think I have any either of those right now, but I may be able to get them for future. <laughs> <clears throat> the less cool it feels the drier it is yeah it feels kind of cool and damp and then you can tell it's starting to dry <clears throat> and i can see that the, the paper is just a little bit um what do you call it a little wavy you know how it gets when it's wet with paint <laughs> on there And so you can kind of feel as the paper starts to dry. So I'm going to do this way because you can see up here and start. So as I pick up the end, I can see that the paint is on it and it's on it well. I've got a clean pull. I've only pulled an inch, but I've got a clean pull. So I'm going to keep going. That means it's dry enough. <clears throat> if a lot of that was still sticking down, I would put this right back down and keep rubbing it more. It's not dry enough. So again, I'm not going to lift it up. I'm going to roll it off. And roll it slowly. So if there's any paint that's deciding whether it's going to stick to the gel plate or to the paper, it has time to stick to the paper. If you roll it too fast, if it has to make a choice, stick to the paper or the gel plate, it's going to choose the gel plate. Look how cool that is. So we have a texture in the back of purple. And then we have our funky artistic hearts on top with gold. And so there's two layers. We can even keep going with that. We can even keep continuing, continue layering on that. In fact, let's see. <clears throat> let's see. Maybe I'm looking through a couple stencils here. Where's the, there's a third one. There's a third one like this. I'm not sure where it went. Let's put a face on it. Can we give it a face? Maybe not a name, just a face. What color face we want her to have? I mean, this is a this is a really pretty page as it is. You could just stop right here. Oh. They're probably screaming at me. Stop right there! Don't go anymore. Oh, you need green for Mardi Gras now. Now, yeah, you could put green over that, and that would be Mardi Gras colors. If anybody's making a Mardi Gras book, super easy to get all those colors in. Um, but we can, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can put this face on it. I don't know. If it ruins it, we can just cover it with paint and start again. It's only paper. It's only paper and paint, right? And that's why you just experiment. That's pretty much, I mean, Sharon and I tell you this all the time. Pretty much everything we do is experimenting. And look what Sharon's doing now with the leaves. I don't think she's done that before. She's experimenting. If it works, great. If it doesn't, she'll try something different. All right. I'm got our face doing, doing them one oh, layer at a time here. Yeah. Deciding as I come to each stage what color it needs, you know. Right. This black is almost gone, so let's I'm gonna try to use it up. Yeah. 
don't think we'll need a whole lot. What I, I don't want to Go ahead. What I don't want to do on this is go to the edge, because if I go to the edge, I'm going to get that big square on there. I don't want the square on there. I just want the face. So I don't want to go to the edge of the stencil. Sorry, Sharon. It's okay. I uh, mess with them a lot as it is. Like uh, after I'm done with with um, gel prints, I always do a bunch to them afterwards. So mm -hmm. uh, whatever happens with them i always know i can either bring it back in or you know yep yep or doodle on it or highlight parts of it Over eyebrow right there come on <laughs> this might be too dry to pick up it's a pretty thin layer of paint so we'll see i hope that didn't I felt like I almost had too much paint there, so I'm hoping it didn't ooze under the stencil badly. So I'm trying to pick up any extra. Brayer it off on the other one. It didn't come up. It's I'm too dry. Get my black off really quickly. Just so whatever colors we want to do. We're good with that. Okay. Then pick up the stencil. Hmm. Okay, there's our face. I'm going to take this one and I don't think I'll get anything off of that because it's kind of dry on the stencil. I'm slightly concerned that as I press down on this, it's going to smash it out and ruin the shape of her eyes. But I'm going to try to do it gently. I'm not push hard until it starts to dry. Hi, Lucy. Good to see you. Carrie, you have restless leg too? Oh my gosh. Suzanne, what's the face also? The face, I actually have three faces. They're Jane Davenport's. They are super cool. I will try to get them. Because yeah, I got them a lot cheaper than retail, but uh, yeah. Oh, Carry restless leg. It's yeah, it's the worst. If I didn't have my medicine for that, I would never sleep. Literally. All right, this is starting to dry, so I'm gonna press it down a little bit more. But it feels cold and wet, so I want to give it a minute. Now it needs Ooh, some that's green. Pretty. That's pretty, I don't know if you yeah. guys can see what's happening here. The leaf impression. Uh-huh. You left impressions in your in your gel plate, and then picked them up. No, well, no, I, had the left, I, left, I left behind in gold the leaves. Oh, cool! And then it was too dry for me to pull it on the print I wanted it on, so I put this. Mm. I have a whole set of these paints, and they are. Mm -hmm. I've had them for so long. Right. Um, they are translucent paint because they're made oh. to paint glass. Cool. So. Um, you can bake them or, I mean, mm -hmm. they work just the way they are, but I sure. pulled out the cranberry thinking, wow, I bet that Ooh. would be really good for the gel plate. Yeah. So I just thought I would experiment with that one tonight. Pigment is pigment in my book. Exactly. I will use anything that makes a color that I like. So, yeah. <laughs> as long as it doesn't have a weird after effect of some sort, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's paint, so... I'm getting in a hurry. I need to let this, I need to let it dry just a little bit more. Hoping it sticks to that paint. And that black is done. So I'll throw that away. I got plenty more black. Plenty more black where that came from. This face is cool. I've done some other things with this face. You guys have seen, you know how we all love that. The very first time Sharon did a face, she had a, a stamp. And then she built the whole headdress thing out of parts and pieces, showing you how you can collage together basically a headdress with a face on it. These these faces are great I've for that. I've several times in a live. Yeah, but I mean, th that very first time that you did, it was the first time everybody had seen it and everybody loved it. And now you've done it several times. But the first one, everybody remembered because they really loved it. It was new to them. 
<laughs> All right, it's feeling dry. Come it's on, face. On my, uh, on my um, uh, counter. Oh, yeah, there she is. Yeah. She's cool. She's got like a bird in her hair. And I, mm -hmm. this is gel prints on the, on the base of this, too. It's all gel prints. Mm -hmm. Come on. I see some of the paint lifted up a little bit. It's all right. I can always smash it down with my finger. Yeah, even some this. of the gold wanted to stick. You get so many layers. Even the gold, some of the gold wanted to stick back down. I'm going to use this one. Just remember to roll it off. Don't pick it up. If I picked this up, that face would pull right off. And some of the gold would as well. That's not going to pick up. I really wanted that one little piece there. And slowly, I can see that if I picked it up fast, some of my gold hearts would stay back down. And the face would stay down. So you've got to roll it off and roll it slowly. So you don't lose what you already have. Now, I don't know if you can see. I know you can see a little bit of black on my gel plate. But there's still really a face imprint on here. I'm going to put some um, ivory or white down. And I'm going to pick that face up. And hopefully it'll work like an image transfer Okay, there's the face. I think she looks like she's behind the purple fence and even behind the gold hearts. Hi, Margalo. Hey, Margalo. Nice. Yes, go follow the hop. Watch all eight of them. They're eight different creations that are awesome. It was fun to see what everybody else did. We're going to do those uh, frequently. So you'll get to see lots of different creations. Yeah, so there we layered. The first layer, we put down just purple. Put a stencil on it. Picked it up just to get the design in the purple. And then we picked up the purple. And then we lay, put a stencil down uh, and put gold on it, picked the stencil up, and then just picked the hearts up. Then we laid a stencil down, did it with black, picked the stencil up, and then just picked the face up. Yes, Mariah, that is true. That's, that's funny, because the last one I pulled this way, and this one I pulled this way. I only did that because the chin was down here and I knew that the chin was um, less detailed than the eyes and it was smaller. So I could see if it was not going to pull up, I could put it back down and leave it for a little longer. I didn't want to pull up the eyebrows or the eyes first and then not have them work. So, okay. So Carrie, does that give you an idea for, for starting? For starting with a bunch of layers? I'm going to see if we can pick up a face imprint here. Let's just try it, shall we? We're just going to put down, what is this, white? It's light ivory. We'll put down a little bit of light ivory. I'm not even worried about covering the whole plate because the face was just, you know, where the face was. I'm going to roll this off. Look at this cool one. The metallic copper and blue that's on it. I'm hoping I can get all that up. I'm going to roll this white onto that, although it's already dry. I just used sprays on that. Ooh, nice. That's pretty. Well, this was a mop-up. This was what I was picking up uh -huh. around. I love mop-up pages. Splat pages, mop-up pages. Hair in it. Hi, Christy. How hey. are you? 
All right. Let's see if we got any of that face. I hope we did. I hope we got a little bit of that face. Oh, it's not even near dry. I get anxious. Okay. Well, while it's drying, that's why I have these other ones out here. Let me put some on this little guy and see if we can pick up some of these cool colors that are on here. I use these a lot just as brayer off um, tablets, you know, just little, little plates here to brayer off on. And then I just end up with a bunch of stuff on them and it looks really cool, but maybe, you know, don't always have time to um, pick it up. And let's see, we'll do that on a little card. I'm going to put one my down. samples will be good cleaning after this. <laughs> I've decided that it's useless cleaning my stencils. I really hate cleaning stencils. I only do it when they get built up. I don't yeah. clean them otherwise. Uh, when they start to have paint built up and, yeah. and they hate sure on them, that's when I start doing it. There's that's when I take things that I really hate out. cleaning or washing. I don't even mind washing dishes, but there's only a few things that I really hate. I hate cleaning stencils and I hate washing out baggies. <laughs> Oh, Doug takes baggies for lunch and like they're barely used. Take out a brand new baggie, put a sandwich in it. You can't justify oh, throwing it away. But, but I then hate I have, washing out baggies. <laughs> but then I end up with six baggies in my uh in my drawer or that yep. I've rinsed out and yep. yeah. One smells like onion and two, two ah. of the cookies. <laughs> have to wash them out with soap. Okay, can you guys see the face? I don't know if, how, if that'll actually even show up. There's an eyeball. There's an eyeball. It's not, there's not very much there. There's the two eyebrows, but there's a little bit of face there. It's like the man in the moon. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. It came out like the man in the it moon. It like a moon. It does. It makes All right. It kind of special. Yeah. Let's do, um, Colors, colors. Somebody give me some colors. Colors that you like, colors that you want to see. I'm open to color tonight. I'm not, uh, I didn't come in with any particular colors in mind, I guess is what I'm saying. But I'm going to try to pull out some paints that are getting low. I've got so many bottles of paint. Like you said, Sharon, I'm going to try to pull out some that are getting low and use them up. Purple. We just did purple, Christy. <laughs> you came in just at the end. We pulled purple with one stencil print, then we did the gold on top of it, gold metallic, and then we did the face on it. I'll go back and do purple again because I love purple. But... Meanwhile, let's try something. It does look like a moon, doesn't it? It looks like the face, the man in the moon face. Hi, Judy. Um, I think that didn't even show I, think up I would like to try um, putting a, a face on purpose on one of those moons. That would be cool. I will do that. I will save one of those. Yellow, ochre, and teal. Pink. Let's see what we've got here. Um, Hi, Judy. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. White it is, or gold. Gold. I'm looking for some right here that are getting really low and see if there's any in there. If not, then I'll turn around here to my trusty shelf. Okay, let's see. There's a turquoise. That's pretty close to teal, right? And when it's pretty low, too. There's an opera. Um, <laughs> yellow ochre. Looking, looking, Julie. There's an opaque yellow. What is that? Cadmium yellow. Dandelion yellow, 
Sharon, I might not have yellow ochre. There's a light yellow. Oh, goodness. There's a neon yellow. <laughs> Too many yellows and not anything that's like an ochre. Mm, it might be over there, but I'm not going to go over there. I want to use these up. All right, which one of those? Pink is your new fave. You've stepped almost all these Semperia pink Christmas. Nice! I can't wait to see what you made with the Stamperia Pink Christmas. Turquoise is good, and I just have to pick a yellow to go with it. Um, Silver this time. Some of my pewter here. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose the dandelion yellow, I think. Let me open it and just see. Ooh, that's old. Let's hope it's still. Oh, it's plenty ready. Yeah, let's try the dandelion yellow. Sharon, they're saying that your colors are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. The colors you just used are gorgeous. Took a while to figure that. To, to work something out there. I've been disappointed. Right. Had to start adding some new ones. Yeah, you know, we try stuff. It doesn't always work out the way we think. No. Um, <laughs> we always see it in our head, in our mind, and it doesn't always come out exactly that way. This is that midnight blue and uh, um, green and gold. Very thin. Green is um, really the thin. Part. Uh, light green mm -hmm. and gold mixed together. This turquoise was super thin. Super, super thin. This is one of my DIY stencils from way back when. I have plenty on there because there's plenty here. Ooh, I'm going to have to let that Wow, it's like dripping everywhere. It's really thin. I didn't realize it was that thin. Um, I need to move some of these guys so I can brayer off over there. Some of this turquoise. That's a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna rub that down. I'm just going to let that sit and see how it's just dripping off, dripping off the edge. What I don't want is for it to go down between these two mats and get on the desk. So I'm just going to wipe that there. Okay. I'm going to put this glassine bag. I know you can't see this, but I'm going to put a glassine bag down on this tiny round one that I've got right here. Let's see if I can pick that up. I'm going to put another little card on this one. Grab some. Um, Meanwhile, our turquoise is still super runny. Okay, but what I'm going to do is put this stencil on it. This is a great one on the 14 by 16 plate. When I do this to get the stencil down into it, I am just barely touching it, literally barely touching it because I don't want to pull up any of the paint um, between that stencil. I just want to give the stencil a little bit of a push down into it. I take just a second and I'm going to clean this turquoise off here. I do it right now. It'll come off easily. Oh, I had not cleaned this brayer. This brayer was with the... <laughs> all of these gel plates that I haven't touched in eight months, almost eight months. And uh, 
this brayer had like eight layers of paint on it. It was the worst trying to clean. I would rather do this with a baby wipe between things and just then try to do what I had to do to clean it. It was awful. Oh, and I just put crunchies down there, not even on purpose. All right, I'm going to pick that one up. Um, I, wonder, I really don't want as much as I love crunchies. I really don't want crunchies in this. On this, oh, let's do this again. Okay. So I'm going to try to pick these up with a teeny tiny stylus end. They're like little paint skins. So if I get underneath the edge of it and pick it up without having to touch the whole design, I shouldn't have cleaned the brayer right over the top of it, right? I'm just showing you what not to do. <laughs> That's bad. You know. <laughs> you know. You know how it is. Yes. Okay. So here's, this is one of the little ones. Yeah. Look how uh, how wet that is. It went right down to the bottom. I'm just, this is one of the shapes. If, if you get this set of mini gel plates, there's six different shapes that come in it. And this is one of the shapes. And this was full of color from last time. And I just put, I just uh, did rub off, brayer off on it with that teal to try to it's tearing the paper. There's so many layers on there. I don't want to tear the paper. I really wanted to get those good crunchy layers up. Okay, not too bad. You can see some pink and some metallic in there. Fingers just made a big old mess. I'll leave that on there because we'll get that up with the next one. But this is paper right here. It had so many layers on it, just like... The, the one we started with that took five poles to get it all off, it pulled the first layer of the paper off and stuck to it. I'm going to clean up some that's sitting there. This was just sitting on the glass. I'm going to clean that up and let that sit there on top. Here's another shape of the six. There's the third. Here's the fourth. One, two, three, four. The fifth is a mini circle. And I just put this glassine bag. This glassine bag has polka dots, white polka dots. So I put it on this. And it has a bunch of other stuff on it too. So let's see what we can get from that. You have to be, the more layers you've got and the longer they've been sitting there, the more careful you have to be when pulling up. And Steel, peel, roll, peel or roll, whatever you want to call it, but don't lift up. I'll be right back. I'm going to go use the restroom and I got to okay. let this dry all the way real quick. It's got a few spots on it still. Okay. Oh, I see. Is the stencil still on there or is that just the paint that you did through the stencil? That's just the paint. That's, that's, oh, that looks that's, cool. That's, that's going to make a cool. Stencils. Oh, that's going to make a cool print. I hope so. Yeah. When I get my hopes up. <laughs> Ooh, do that over the top of one of the others that's just kind of bleh that needs to be built on. That looks that's really cool. Yeah. But I think this one, I don't know. I, I got to go potty. I'll be right back. Okay. This is cool because you can do this on a larger page and it um, looks like a moon. Okay, while I'm showing you these little ones and picking that up, this dried. I didn't really intend for this to dry. I was going to pick up this. Um, I was going to pick up this stencil design with a piece of paper, but now it dried. So what happens if you accidentally let it dry? And now you can't pick it up. Let's go ahead and get the last one. So that was the fifth. This is the sixth shape of the little one, and it has paint on both sides. 
So let's see what we can get from here. This side was so thick and so cool with metallics. And you can see through the gel plate to see some of the color on the other side that's underneath. Out here, all you see is gold, metallic gold. Underneath, there's purple, there's copper. It looks like cobalt blue. Okay, so we'll have to still work on pulling some of that up. So, is that said exclusive to particular shop over there? I haven't seen it here. Um, no, it's um, they're Jelly Jelly Arts, I believe, is the brand. All mine are Jelly J J E L L I. So I didn't put oh torn paper torn paper extra texture. Yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, what I noticed though is the thicker it is, like these have been sitting on here for so long, the thicker the layers of paint and the longer they've been sitting on here, the harder it is to pull it. So the more pulls it takes and the more it tends to want to pull the paper apart because it is so strong. It's been here for so long, that's, that's all. If it was brand new fresh, it wouldn't do that to the paper. So there's one spot right here that is not yet dry. I'm just letting that one dry. Interesting because I wonder if I dripped that from one of the others because it kind of went right over the top of where that that stencil design is should be. Oops. <laughs> and it covered, move a little bit of it. I'm just gonna let this little spot here dry. I have a feeling that I probably dripped it on from this one that I picked up that was just gooey on the bottom. And as soon as it completely dries, then I will put that yellow over the top of it, let it be the background. So here's the thing to remember, um, anybody who's new to gel printing, when you layer on your gel plate. Layering is super fun and you can layer on the gel plate or you can do one at a time and layer on your paper from the gel plate. Either way, it doesn't make a difference. I mean, it makes a difference on what you get, but it doesn't, you can do both ways. But the point to remember is that when you layer things down, whatever you put on first becomes what's on top when you pull it. So sometimes people think, well, I'm going to put this down because I want that to be the background and then this and then that. I really like this one. I'm going to put it on top. Then you put your paper over it and you pull it and turn it over. What you really liked on top is now on the bottom. So just remember that what you put on first becomes the top. That's the last thing as it's turned over. What you put on last becomes the bottom. Maybe that's however it's easier for your brain to remember it. What you put on last becomes the bottom of your picture, the bottom of your, your painting. Um, so if you want one to be the background and another one to build on it and another one to build on that, then do the one that you want. It's like building, it's like creating a painting backwards. I want it to have some gold um, highlights then the gold has to go down first. And behind that, I'd like to see a little bit of that royal purple. Then the purple has to go on next. Behind that, I'd like to have it to have a soft yellow background. Then the yellow has to go on last. It's almost dry. I don't know if you can see right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that goo right there. Let's pick that up. Let's see if we can pick that up with a gel plate. Ooey gooey. I just cleaned my hands, and now they're ooey gooey again. I'm back. Yay. Yay for baby wipes, right? I'm back. All right. All right. <laughs> Color. The yellow would only change the blue to green, Julie, if I put the yellow on and rolled it while it's wet. And you can do that. You can totally do that. But if you want that to be the blue on the yellow background, that's why I'm letting this dry. You do want it to dry. 
Mariah is exactly right. Like people make character pancakes. You don't put the pancake down first and then build the face or when you turn it upside down, when you flip it, now your face is gone. So they put the face down first and then they pour the rest of the pancake over it. And then when they flip it, the face is there. It's exactly the same. You're putting what you want to see down first. When you flip it, it becomes the top. All right, let's see. I can't wait to see this one, Sharon. Yeah? Because I think it's going to look really cool. It's on rice paper, so. Okay. It'll be nice to play with, I think. I really yeah. like the way this one came out, and that was just me picking up the bits in between. Yeah. Um, got bits of silver on there. There's mm -hmm. nice chippy, chippy bits, and it's almost like an abstract polka dot. Mm -hmm. You could build on that or use that for collage. It'd be very cool. It'd be very nice in collage. Okay, I'm on. dry. So, oh, there's so many oh, all these gel plates out, and I'm sitting here waiting for this. Um, it is not going to hurt your gel plate at all to pull out a hair dryer or a whatever a kind of gun you use and put it on cool. I'm going to put it on low and cool, and just hit that for a second just to dry that spot of paint. That little spot of paint was really thick, which is why it's taken a while to dry, because I think it dripped off of this little one when I picked it up. That's why it was so thick sitting there. Okay, Sharon, I didn't get to see it. What? I didn't get to see that one when you pulled it up. Oh, um... It's got all different colors in there. There's Ooh. greens and blues and that pewter. Oh, I yeah, I love that design on it. Actually, on top of it. This corner, I am loving mm -hmm. right here. I'll, yeah. I'll have to take some pictures of it because I'm sure it's not showing up like I can see mm -hmm. it. Still didn't pull all that up, but that's another layer away from fun. Kitty, no. No, you can't get on here. She's trying. <laughs> she is trying. I think what I'm going to do here is add some metallics to it and try a piece of black paper. Um, because it's got that really chippy sort of thing happening. Mm -hmm. All right. This yellow is really old. I can tell it's really old and sticky. And there are some thick bits in it. I can see some skins in the paint. That's how old it is. So let's see how it works. Hmm. Let's just put that right over here. All right. Paper, paper, quick paper before it gets dry. Okay, so you notice when you first put it down and you're rubbing it, it feels cold and even kind of wet. And as it dries, it gets not so cold. And um, you can just feel when it's drying. You see the paper's wrinkling right here because it's wet from the paint. So I want to let it get dry or almost dry before I <laughs> keep paw prints. That'd be cute. Except what wouldn't be cute is the paint that she picked up and walking across everything and walking else across the carpet. Yeah. Or everything else in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, meow meow.
All right, let's see oh, here. That's beautiful. I can still see leaves that I had on here earlier on that, and they were not evident. I love it when that happens. I think we need to play with some more leaves. I didn't. Uh, you want to see it? That's cool. That is cool. Yeah, I, I didn't don't bring any, any fresh. I've got some silk leaves here, but um, I really like using the fresh, like the fresh maple leaves. I'm going to clean some of this stuff off my desk. really cool. I need to get off of here stuff that I'm done playing with until mm -hmm. further. I love this one. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let me move these. I just need desk space. <laughs> I really love this one too. It's very chippy. And this one, I'm going to put these on my back counter, I think. Um, I want to see if I can do sort of That's a really pretty. pewter look with water drops. That's what I want to do. A pewter look? Is that what yeah. you said? Okay. That will work. Um, I was thinking like a metallic, like a mm -hmm. pewter. Mm -hmm. A good amount of it because this stuff seems to dry pretty fast. Mm -hmm. It's the Lumineer Excitement Pack or Exciter Pack mm -hmm. by right. and uh, it's it's good, but it they're all metallic like this. Mm. And okay, so I'm gonna spray this with water. I want some big droplets too and let it separate a little and maybe get that um mercury glass sort of look perhaps. oh yeah that'd be cool Let's see if it works i'm gonna do it on this one that i did just to get down between the leaves oh it's wet though maybe maybe some heavier paper for that mm -hmm. they're loving what you're doing are they? Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I love I love metallics. They're my they're just my favorite on gel plates. Yeah, I could do everything metallic, but I don't want to use metallic in everything. But when I'm playing on gel plates, I just want to keep playing with metallics because they're my favorite. I love the way they look. I love the way they work. All right. Okay, I'm going to try it on black now. I'm letting this dry a bit, so I'm cleaning off this brayer. This up first with this one. Let's test this a bit here. Um, I'm going to pull it up anyway, yeah, I might leave a little bit, okay, let me try it with gray, okay, so there was the turquoise, down with the stencil and then lifted up the stencil and put yellow over the whole thing so basically the turquoise is sitting on the yellow and you can still i'm going to let this dry a bit because it's pretty wet that that was pretty that turquoise was super runny i'll have to remember that um but yeah, you can still layer on that and play with it. I'm just going to let it dry. 
Meanwhile, I think what I want to do, what happened to that red metallic? Do I have that right here? There's the blue. Where did I set? I know I just had it in my hand. Right there. All right. Here's another one of my favorite stencils for gel plate. Oh, I love these, these paint skins that come off the top when you open up the bottle. Please try to pull off the whole thing as one. <laughs> I love this. Take that and use it in a piece of mixed media art. Little metallic piece. Isn't that cool? Okay, that's just paint. I thought that was a skin over there. I'm watching the paint separate. It's kind of cool. You spray it with water on the plate. Separates. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This says it's a metallic red but it always looks like a rose color to me. Not necessarily red. So, I love it with this one. Very lightly put the stencil down. So I'll have to try this with a few colors and see if I can't get a really chippy look with layers of mm -hmm. paint. That'll be fun. If I can get it to do what I want it to do in my head. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm trying to move this light because it's just, uh, this paint is metallic. And so the light is just glaring off of it. That's not helping at all. Paint burgers make good flowers. Oh, yeah. Who? Hi, Angie. I wondered if you were still alive. <laughs> hey, Judy. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to pick this one up. I love this stencil. I love this stencil. I'm going to lay this over here and see if I can get a ghost print off it at all with mm, that one will work. Uh, guys, Judy P in chat, she's another one of the um, makers that participated in the collab hop. And Did I say you, hello yet, Judy? Hi, hi Joni. Um, those of you who just came in or who came in in the last half an hour, you might not have heard. Here, I just put a link in there, and that is to a Facebook page, not a group. We are not changing the group, but this is a page. Um, we, the goal is to get everybody in the Facebook group to that page to like it and subscribe to it. No, like it and follow it. And then click on getting notifications because we're going to have events on that page. Um, nothing is changing in the group, but this will be a place for events and they won't clog up the group feed. So the first event is going to be uh, starting October 1st. So be sure to go over there and uh, like and follow that uh, Happy Paper People Facebook page. It is not going to be something you're going to have to keep up on like the Facebook group. There's not going to be tons of stuff in there. It is going to be specifically for events, special events, special events and, and things like that. Right, Sharon? That's right. So we're, the goal is to, once you go over there, if you can also hit invite and invite everybody that is in Happy Paper People that is um, in your friends list to go over there and like it and follow it as well. We, want, we don't want any of the Happy Paper People to miss out on any event there because it's over on that page. Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. Joni, this came as a set. There's a set of six. There's the circle. There's the, what is five? Octagon? No, pentagon. There's the square. There's a little oval. There's a little rectangle. And there's a triangle. They were, a, I think, that, no, they weren't a set of six. Sorry. They were two separate sets of three. And they're the jelly, is it jelly art? The jelly art brand. J-E-L-L-I, the Jelly Art brand. I think all my plates are Jelly Art. And um, they're two different sets of three. Um, and honestly, I bought them from somebody several years ago, somebody on Facebook Marketplace that was advertising them. She had them and just never used them. Your gel and plates? I, these little, the little ones. She had these oh, two sets okay. of... She, yeah, no, she had the two sets of three and never used them. They were brand new in the packages. And I wasn't, I about, to tell her, <laughs> I wasn't about to tell her how cool they were and all the stuff that they could do. So she sold them to me cheap. But yeah, they're fun to use. And then another one that's fun that makes really cool world and moon looks is this um, eight inch circle. Uh, okay, now instead of water, I'm going to use one of my DIY um, sprays. So Ooh. it should add an additional color, but it'll it should separate itself. So we'll Thank see. Thank you, Angie. Thank you for going over there. And yeah, everybody, just hit like, follow, and I would highly recommend that you set the notifications to any time that there's a post because there's not going to be very many posts. So every time there's a post, it's going to be part of a special event. So it's not like every post and oh my goodness, every person that posts in here, I'm going to get um, no, only for special things. All right. I'm going to try, I'm, I'm letting this dry a bit. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this metallic down here and see if I can just get something off of these a little bit more. They've got so many layers. Those who came in late, these have been, these have been sitting here for almost eight months with layers and layers of paint on them. And we've been playing with them to see how many pulls it takes to get all the layers up. It's trying to find. Watching paint separate uh, can be exciting, but this specific paint is taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> watching paint dry. <laughs> watching paint dry. Yeah. I'm yeah. Watching paint dry yeah. right here. I'm watching paint dry. <laughs> That's why I have to have more than one gel plate because I get too anxious and I pull them up too soon. And so I have to have something else to play on while I'm waiting for that one to dry. Okay, so I am pulling different shapes over the first shape and just trying to pull up all the chippy bits off of these little guys. See what I can get. I love when they just start layering and there's all kinds of different things there. Let's see. I'm gonna put this glassine bag with polka dots on it over this one. Let's see if we get anything. Gel press gel petites. That's what the small ones are called, Julie says. Did you know you get a puzzle piece shaped gel plate? Oh, cool. That would be cool. There's a lot of things cool. happening there. Cool. That's that's starting to get cool. All right. Let's see if this is dry enough. Okay, so I'm going to show you these roses two different ways. It's metallic, so I know there's a big old glare. So this one, I put the metallic red down, then I put the rose stencil down, and then I pick the rose stencil up, and then just pick the whole thing up. 
what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to, I'm looking for one, I'm looking for one. Let's see. I'm looking for a background that I've already done on the gel plate. That would be pretty. Okay. Here's one that I did. I think this was when we were the night that we were both playing with um, sprays. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to take the same, let me get rid of this. I'm going to take the same stencil that I have now about completely matted down to another gel plate. <laughs> oh, wow. The stencil's pulling up all the layers. Talk about skin. All the skin came up with this stencil. Look at that. Mm. All right. I don't have time to peel this off. I want to use this stencil. I'd love to peel it off and use it, but. Well, so-and-so was reading the comments and when she jumped across my, uh, keyboard <laughs> yeah you were reading the comments when she jumped across <laughs> no i just realized that it was way far up the list oh. those <laughs> ones uh, hi, Susan. i don't know if i said hi to you earlier but ah oh, there's so many layers yeah Look at all these cool layers in here. But if I leave them there, I'm not going to get the rose print that I want. This, um, some of you will recognize this rose stencil. This is a, uh, our Doug, yes, actually Doug was in here a little early, a little earlier to say hi to everybody and to thank everybody for all the prayers and messages and well wishes we really, really do appreciate all those positive thoughts that you guys sent our way. Surgery went so well, and he is doing great. Um, surgery was Thursday, and he only took his first pain pill today because the swelling is way down, and so there's a little more pain, but he's doing great. Following doctor's orders and doing very well. Feeling My good. Mike came in to say hi, too, but somebody was talking, so he left. <laughs> He did? Yeah, he Aww. did. Aw, aw, you should just interrupt. I was going to ask you if he was home yet. Yeah. You should what I'm interrupt. doing is a finishing layer uh, with this stencil on a couple of these that I'm done zhuzhing with the multi-colored backgrounds here like that one has a lot going on and it was that mm -hmm. one that i just whoops the one i just sprayed um one of the paints didn't necessarily like the water but um uh there's still layers from before under there so it actually is pretty mm -hmm. cool in person i'm not sure if you guys can see i'm wondering if I spray that with a little bit of water, if it might stick to a piece of paper to come up. This stencil is so fine. It's very thin and it's such a fine cut. I think we need you to know, look up. So many, it's so detailed and little tiny things sticking out. No, that's not going to work. Um, so that's why I'm being so careful with it because I don't want to tear off the little detailed things because it is one of my favorite stencils. Yes, Julie recognizes it. This is a Linda Israel stencil. I really do love this one. It's one of my very favorites. I've got some super cool prints out of it. I want to show you a couple other ways I've used it. If I can get some of the skin off of it here. Um, I mean, soak it in water, but I don't want to take time to do that right now. Um, and by the way, guys, there is in, uh, in files where Candy has put the file with the affiliate links 
there is an affiliate link to Linda's store, Linda Israel's store, um, where this stencil is, as well as others. Linda has some cool stencils, and I've got several of hers. This is one of my favorites. I'll just use a fingernail and scrape them off. Maybe that'll work, huh? So I'm going to keep experimenting with the liquid sprayed on the paint to get that really aged um, sort of mercury glass look. And I'm, I've found one paint that it didn't quite work with, but I had two different kinds on there. Mm -hmm. um, so I have to figure out which one it was. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I think it cool. was the metallic that worked better for that. Mm. that the metallic paint and then the spray uh, over it. Mm hmm. Cool. It was these, I think it, that was the first one I did was the pewter uh, uh, jacquard. So we shall so see. So you're saying you have to try each of the paints by itself with the spray to see which one. Yeah. Was and I don't mind. Looked. It's all a layer. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a fun layer. Yeah. I mean, if one, yeah. If you don't <laughs> like one of them, you just paint yeah. over it. That's right. And this okay. one dries faster. I think it was the thicker of the of the craft paint that gave me trouble. Mm -hmm. That didn't separate as well. Actually, want more purple? Don't dry on me. Let's see here. Um, Lucy, I might, maybe I'll do some, I actually got, I, I think I still have it right here. Come on. Look at this cool magazine poll I got earlier. Let's see. Ben Casey, what's his face? Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Came out kind of cool. Um, I might. I might do that, Lucy. I really wanted to do a couple other things with this stencil. I shouldn't have left it sitting on that other gel plate so long because it just stuck to it. Um, a thick stencil would have been no big deal. You just pull it up. But this one is so fine. It's got so many detailed cutouts. Oh, good night, Patricia and Mariah. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. We'll post pictures of our favorite our favorite makes tonight. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, they were going to make what um, covers and frames tomorrow morning. Am I remembering right? Is that? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember if that's the right week. I don't usually worry about remembering because I know if I'm going to be there, I'll see it anyway. Right. But... <laughs> All right. Let's clean this off a bit. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch the collab videos this week, Sharon's and mine are both in the group. You can go in into either one of them um, and they will link to the others. In fact, I think mine links to Sharon's, Sharon links to some uh, somebody else's. There's eight makers it links though. To, uh, Mariah's. It links to Mariah's. Okay. So either one, if you start with Sharon's, you'll go all the way around and end with mine. If you start with Those mine, then you'll then go to Sharon's. Yeah. So either way you go all the way around the circle. There's eight makers. Everybody took the same prompts and made something. Everybody's something was completely different and they were all really cool. I love, I just, I really do love seeing how people take the same things and make different things. That to me is so fun. Yeah, it is. And I'm looking forward to doing this. We're going to do this on a regular basis, guys. So, um, if there's something that you would like to see, let us know. And we'll, uh, Mariah is the one that puts it all together. So we'll get, throw suggestions to her. I'm sure she won't mind suggestions. She can take them or leave them. 
Well, um, she doesn't, she wouldn't always have to uh, organize it. Or well, that's, yeah, no, that's true. That's true. She wouldn't have to. Yeah. But but it, if she enjoys it, I wouldn't want to take it away from her. Because if, right. if it's yeah, her no, we thing, don't want she does a good job. Yeah, right. She did Correct. great. Correct. Um, but what what we would like to challenge you to do is as you watch that, I think we all itemize what the six things are that Mariah gave us and said, here's six prompts, use at least three of them and make something. We would like to challenge you to take that list of six, use at least three. You can use other things too. You can use all six of those if you want, plus other things and make something and then post in the group. Uh, yeah, Julie Messenger, I haven't, um, oh, no, 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 I know where Glennis is. She's at her zombie convention. I almost forgot. Oh, that, that's this weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's this weekend. So she's fine. She's having uh, a zombie good time. A zombie good time? <laughs> yeah, a zombie good time without us. How does that happen? <laughs> I hope, hope she's having a great time. Yeah. Yeah, we would challenge you to take the same... The same challenge, take the, the six prompts, pick at least three, make something, and then post it in the group so that we can see. It'd be really cool if multiples of you did that so that we could see different things that people did with the same prompts. You've already seen Sharon's and mine. They're out there in the group and how we made them, our process is on our video. Okay, so this time instead of putting the paint down first, I put the stencil down first and the paint over it. Um, I think this this poor stencil is getting so beat up. I've had it for so long, <laughs> and I love it, so I use it a lot. I might, I might be needing another one. Um, so I'm going to first take um, a piece of paper and put it over this. There's so many different ways you can use a stencil on the gel plate. Here's just a second one. And me, I'm over here with a spray bottle of water. Right. <laughs> yeah, it would have been faster to wash the stencil, Lucy. The problem with that one is it is very thin and it has such fine cutouts. It's super hard to wash because you can't like, I can't lay it down and then run anything over it. Even my fingers, because they catch all the little tiny points of the flowers of the roses it's really really fine hard to use in that regard but i do love it i do love the stencil okay and that's a fun thing so here's a second way to use the stencil i put the stencil down and ran the paint over it and then i laid this down with the stencil still there So it picked up the paint in between the roses. So the roses are in white. And now if I remove the stencil, there's some paint still there where the stencil was. Let's see, I'll use this one. Not very much, should be kind of light. Too much. Straight into water. Oh. Yeah, I assume candy is as well. Um, uh, there's been no change in um, no change in the. Uh, Candy's Raven. feeling better though, but not Candy's Raven. Feeling better. Yeah, but there's been no change in Raven's status. Okay. Okay. So that's metallic roses. I, I know that's not going to come across very well, but let's see. Maybe I can get one up here. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Metallic roses on a. This was a sheet we just did sprays on. 
So there's kind of metallic background to it anyway. But they're just very thin roses because this is only where the stencil was. So there is yet one more. And, and that's, it's actually only the outline because technically there shouldn't be paint underneath the stencil so when you lift it up you just have the little bit that's around the outline so I'm gonna put it down one more time <clears throat> and let me find another background that needs something and let's do that again with the metallic paint. And then maybe I'll try a few um, image transfers. I did find a new technique from somebody that I really wanted time to practice and perfect to make sure it worked because it seemed like it might be the technique that actually works all the time. I didn't make it up, but I found it from somebody else. But I didn't have time to do that. I just caught her eating my pile of leaves that I'm uh, that I got. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, oh wow! Really? He's eating okay. them. Look how cool that is! Look at the roses <laughs> on the on the gel plate. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how cool those roses are on the gel plate. So I'm going to put them right onto this one. And we're going to get the full on roses on here without the stencil. I put it on crooked. Oh, well. Yay. Judy, we're just glad that you could come for any amount of time. We appreciate I'm having you here. Have you here. Glad Thank you, you could be here. Thanks for hanging out with us for a while. All right, guys, we're going to let that dry a bit. Um, I'm going to set this one over here. I'm going to move a couple of these. We'll see you later, Judy. Thank you. Hope you have the rest of a productive night. If you've got things you need to do. Okay, where, where, oh, where? Did my little stuff go? Oh, here we go. I'm going to try this. So about putting down paint, then the stencil, then a piece of paper and push down to remove the paint, then lift the stencil, then put another piece of paper and lift print. Yeah, that would work too. Paint, then the stencil, and then paper. Yes. So we did, let's see. Oh, we did that at the beginning. Then lift the stencil, then piece of paper to lift the print there. Yeah, we did that at the beginning. See, there's just so many different ways or not even ways. So many different, um, what's the word? Like order. There's so many different orders that you can pull them in to get different types of prints. That's what's really cool about, about it. All right, well, I'm going to have to pull off some of these little ones. I'm going to let that dry a minute, guys. I'm not forgetting it, but it's got to dry. I get a little anxious. Pull it too soon. Good night, Felicia. Thank you for coming. Good night, Felicia. We'll, uh, post, Good pictures. we'll post pictures in our group of our um, finished uh, projects. Thanks. For uh, or at least our, fav our favorite. <laughs> See you in the morning. Let's see. I thought I saw in this book. I thought I saw a pretty cat. Has. Haven't heard from Marge in a while. Is she buffering? Anybody fell asleep? To talk to her? I <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> Maybe. Likely. That's okay. If she fell asleep, that means she really needed it. <laughs> yeah. Can happen. Yeah. Yeah, ask Doug. <laughs> Every time we sit down to watch a movie together, I fall asleep. 
the only time I sit down still, <laughs> my body goes, oh, we're sitting still, time to sleep. <laughs> Bill does the same thing. <laughs> I don't mean to. He just falls asleep so easily. He's such a man. <laughs> Bill can fall asleep anywhere, any place, yep. anytime. And yeah. Yep. Anyhow. That's it. Yeah, super easily. Not me. <laughs> so if I fall asleep during the movie, you know I'm super, super tired. Yeah. So this one has all kinds of metallics, and there's three different shades of purple in there, and the pewter. That's there's gold. Pretty. Yeah, it really is. I like especially that a lot. In person. Um, and then this one is holes. on top of one of those where I just removed the paint on top mm -hmm. of where I sprayed it with water to get it to mm -hmm. separate. Oh, the leash is not leaving. She was just saying good night to Judy. Oh. Yay! Oh, okay. <laughs> She's still crafting along. Um, Felicia, what are you making or are you gel printing also? I don't think I heard at the beginning if you were gel gel printing or if you were doing something else. I don't know if I All waited right. too long before I so, found that. Oh. All right. Let's see if these roses are ready to be pulled up. This one? Um, I'm going to now. Just uh, some general polls, but... Are we hearing your mom? Yep, that is my mom. Hello there. She, she keeps sneaking in Hello. here to, to watch what we're pulling. She can see the computer <laughs> so she can hear. All right. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love the vintage look, the age. Beautiful. It looks like old wall behind it. Oh, come on. Stop. Did you guys see a flasher? Was that the cat? <laughs> I just yeah. it looked like a shadow. It was so fast. <laughs> I have a flasher. That's right. That's cool. I really like this one a lot. Like that a lot. Okay. Was that one layer? Um. Yeah. the The paper was one that I had the night we were playing with sprays. Uh huh. I had used sprays on it. This is the back. And so it just had sprays on it and it just looked like, a, you know, coffee dyed with dark, except it had a little bit of metallic sheen from the sprays. And then all it was, was one layer of metallic paint with that rose stencil. Yeah. Love that one. One of my favorites. All right. I'm going to try to get, um, I've got some little images that I, I really want to see if I can pull them. So I'm going to try to get some of let's see we did that the wrong way these need to be here and these need to be here move that to the side i'm going to try to pull up some of the paint off of these so that i can use them for some mini mini images and see if i can do Im image transfer with some minis Oh, my desk is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> All right, here. Okay. Let's use this white one. I really like this paper, though. I need some copper accents. But another oh, one. nice. This is going to be a nice thing left behind here, though. I wonder if it's time to break out the feathers. <laughs> so we went to visit Bill's grandma. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, he, his grandma lives with his aunt. And mm -hmm. his aunt said, oh, uh, I'm so mad. Uh, one of those birds got my one of my uh, one of the uh, hawk got one of my doves, oh. and I said I said where and and went straight out there and picked up feathers. <laughs> 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 Normally I cry at roadkill, but there I, I am. 
you know. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> they just did it because you were coming and you needed feathers. It happened immediately, like like right before that. So that's funny. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Um, they thought I was, or she thought I was a little weird, but he he certainly knows me. So sure. Yeah, that's funny. I have uh, buckets and buckets of chicken feathers that I have painstakingly yeah. gathered, gathered one by one by hand and washed one by one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, takes a you long sent time. Me them, remember? Yeah, I did. A few. Yeah. Small baggie, I think. Yep. A little baggie of them. All right. Let's see if some of these will pull up. Come on, I want some clean plates so I can try to do some image transfers on these little plates. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. Mm, this one's wanting to take the paper with it. He comes up here. He must want something. Wow. He never comes up here. Maybe Bill sent him up. <laughs> no, uh, he wouldn't listen to that. Oh, <laughs> he wouldn't do that. Yeah, That's funny. <laughs> Doug will tell Lucy, "Go find Mama," and she'll come running down the hall looking for me. I, he wants something, or he wouldn't be up here. That's just <laughs> it. That's funny. Oh, darn it. This is going to be collage paper. It's getting all torn up. This is paper. Pretty blue metallic on it. All right. Let's see how these are going. <clears throat> So I have this sitting here. I'm proud over my the whole bin of um, mark makers and <laughs> haven't pulled anything out. Just been playing with stencils. Stencils have been fun tonight. Although I keep thinking I'm going to grab these and, and I'm going to make sponge dots on them. And I still haven't done that either because those are sitting right here on my desk. Oh, come on, kitty. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, oh, that's pretty. This round one is super pretty. It got all the layers. She wants to all be right in the middle of whatever I'm doing right now. That's just it. Yeah. Let's see which one of these has least in it. Let's put a little bit of violet on and see if we can pick up everything that's left. I take them. it back. She wants to eat the leaves. Uh, yeah. She has a method to her madness. Or a madness to her method. Yeah. She's got her rubber face on everything. <laughs> Mark it. I finally had to give her her own hairbrush because she keeps like trying to rub her face on the <laughs> pencils on the kitchen counter. That's and funny. of course I've never had a cat, so I had no idea. Yeah. And um, I'll get her one of those corner things um, uh, to put on a piece of furniture. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. She wants to. Yeah. Tell you, tell you what her space is. <laughs> yeah. What's hers? Well, I had Mom, to put a this one's mine. brush next to the table or next to her food bowl uh, uh, so that she could rub her face on it. Mm. Uh, so I gave her her very own hairbrush. Cool. And it's working so far. Cool. <clears throat> so I'm thinking cool. orange. Cool. Or Oh, this paper is so thin. It's tearing. I should have probably used a little bit thicker paper. I'm just trying to get all the little bitties up off of these. Clean up the gel plates. 
usually I don't care about or like super clean gel plates, but if I do image transfers, I do like to start with a clean plate. I haven't used this orange since 1984. <laughs> <laughs> Probably literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, and that was in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not going to show up as leaves. It's a sad thing. Yeah, but if they give some cool texture, then that's okay, too. Yeah. Some sort of... Maybe I'll do orange, and then I'll spray it with water, see if this paint works, and... Uh, I don't know. Or purple. Purple. All right. Let's get a baby wipe. I was trying to think of Halloween and, you know. Oh, yeah. Purple and orange and green. And Maybe black. I'll save orange for accents and I won't use that until uh, 2008. I think any What's metallics that? Would be, I think any metallics would be cool for Halloween. I've been using metallics. Yeah. I know you had. All right. I'm going to clean these up. Feathery frame on this, but Maybe if I can get some image transfers. Maybe this. I have used this on furniture. I've had this mm -hmm. for so long. I yeah, I, I even pulled out a couple of brayers that have texture on them that you can run over. Yeah, guys, you can put your paint down and then just run this te uh, texture brayer like Sharon ha is doing over the top of it and you make a texture in it. It's just super easy to do, put anything in it, anything at all. doesn't even matter what I even put some, pulled some string out and put some string here that I might, I might get around to using. I don't know. Probably not. Cause it's eight 30. Yeah. We've been all over the place. Really. We just oh. couldn't wait to play. Um, it's been a while since we played with the gel plate. So with well, we paint, we did with like inks and sprays, but we did paint last month. Yeah. But yeah, but did there's we do so many paint? different techniques to do that? You know, we'll do yeah. if we're doing one or two techniques, that pretty much takes up the whole night, and then right. we're, we're waiting, and then we're waiting around for the next time so we can do some of the others because we love doing it. Well, I oh. needed to get some good new um, first layers. Um, and backgrounds uh, mm -hmm. to add things to um, because I've, I've used a bunch of my stash lately, you know, mm -hmm. on our Good. last month when we were awesome. using them. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's so awesome. Above. Yeah. I need to have some creative time where I can use more no, of needs them. This one's got paint on both sides. this out here just run it off the side this one's got some paint on both sides i only need one side to be clean though so why bother with that one that side's clean that one's something to my keyboard or to my screen uh -oh. my keyboard. Uh -oh. so there's a black half my screen is black bar Okay. Half your screen is away. Half your screen is black bar. Ooh. I fixed hmm. it. Oh, good. She stepped on something that you need to unstep on. Right. And my feet are too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, Kitty. Let it go. Don't stand on that. <laughs> yeah. I cleaned my brayer before we started and it is gross. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Completely. Well, I've gone months without cleaning my brayer. Me and too. for some it's reason so I have massive buildup. I think it's it from changing from different kinds of paint and spray. Oh, and I just get, you just, even you're just using acrylic paint. Every, 
every layer I do, just if I don't, um, even if I wipe it off or brayer it off, there's still paint on there. It, and if I don't wipe it off, like with a baby wipe, it just builds up. And it, when I cleaned it, it had so many layers. It was so hard to clean. I don't like that. If I like cleaning it at the end of the night, the brayer. And I only do that because if it gets so many layers built up, then things will start to stick to the papers or to the gel plate where you don't want them to, you know. I just don't like it when it gets a texture on it. Yeah. Or it gets so thick it can barely roll around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty close. Pretty close to clean. <laughs> pretty close. It's not clean, but it's pretty close. Pretty close, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to try some of these. I've got these little tiny. They have so image drink. transfers work better when they're really good contrast of black and white or dark and light. And this is out of a book. So I don't even know. You know it all depends on what kind of ink it is. I have no idea what kind of ink this is. Um but I thought these were cool little tiny images that are black and white that would be great on these little gel presses if they will work. So I want to try them. Purple, Julie. Kitty wants to be famous. You know, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I like um, purple, the metallic, or just the purple and the metallic copper too. That's Besides the metallic gold. That's what I just have here. Yeah. Is copper purple. Gold, oh, yeah. Black. Yeah. Purple with everything or um, a good royal blue or a teal. They go with all the metallics. I hate this, by the way. Take it away. You hate what? <laughs> I hate the way that. I hate the way the. I don't like the feather. I just really? do not like it. Um, do you put it on I, an angle a little bit so I can see that. Try to see the feather. Uh, you can't see the feather. I, I don't hate the um, chippy sort of yeah. model. Uh, I, I it's yeah, I don't so like. By the time you use it, you won't even notice there's a feather there because you won't leave it yeah. like that. Yeah, no, and it's You'll not really the feather, feather that I don't like. It's the color right. combo and the way right. that oh. came out. Yeah. I just don't like it. Period. All right. So boy, I have some ugly roll offs tonight. Ugly, ugly. I think I need to do it some more in blue and green. These are all the same size. Okay, so I am going to take. Um, where did the black go? One of these. Here's a black. All right. Um. She's marking her territory. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She's letting you know. I own this desk and everything that happens. Well, you know, she stopped doing it for a while. And you yeah. do you notice that when I moved her bed recently, she started uh -huh. doing it again? Mm-hmm. All that time, her bed was right above my desk, so she wasn't using my keyboard right. to jump down. And now she yeah, is again. Yeah. So move it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to eventually. Yeah. All right. I need to pull out another stencil I haven't used yet. I'm cleaning off this brayer. I don't really want yellow. Uh, I do have the other one. I could use the other one. I'll do that. Because I always put the black. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I haven't used this yet. When I got it in the mail, it was um, um, a little bit of this on the. Oh, there's a goober. There's a goober. I'm going to take that goober off so it doesn't end up in one of them. That's a cool one. I like it. Yeah, it really is. I have a Japanese one, but it's only it's like just three or four characters. It's not a whole page. Well, I got it because I'm doing that Japanese journal for my son-in-law, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. son's um, partner. Yeah. Mm 
All right, definitely this. And I haven't used it yet. Came kind of crumpled in the mail. Um, no. But I didn't pay very much for it, so oh well. I kind of have a feeling that I put too much paint on these. It's a little bit thicker than what I would normally want. So you want a pretty darn thin layer. It's really weird. Not too thick, not too thin. There's this amount for image transfer that's just right. And I haven't got it down where it is natural to make it just right every time. I really have to think about it. But it's less than you would normally put on, and I tend to. Um, just go I think through. you're supposed to be able to see through it, kind of like when you pull a pull a print. A little bit, uh, yeah. I haven't done it, uh, but I've seen videos, and uh, I think that I've heard them talk about that. How you're supposed to be able to see through it. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Oh. Don't flip it. I just flipped it upside down. Crap. I probably smeared the whole image. I was going to pick it up and show you, and I flipped it upside down. What a dork. Oh. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. Oh, come on. Come on. I really want this one. I really want to use this paint. Uh, too much paint. Too much paint. Okay. Those have to dry. While they're drying, I'm going to prepare um, some more. Slightly larger, but here's some others that are good. Dark. Dark and light. This is nice. Yeah, Julie, my stencil got bent in the mail. You know, the mailman. Oh, yeah. They just don't care. I mean, they could put it on chipboard or something to know yeah, it, maybe knowing it that it's correctly. not going to make it through the post office. They should know that. It's a pretty big stencil to expect that it won't get bent, too, though. So, you know. Well, I don't think they do a very good job of ship shipping them sometimes. Yeah, that's exactly how that happened, I think. But still, a little more care. Yeah. Maybe, maybe don't fold packages in half. Exactly. You know. Even though they're envelopes. Yeah. <laughs> the, even if it's an envelope, it should not be folded in half. That's what I'm know? saying. Even if they're envelopes, don't fold them in half. If people wanted to fold it yeah. in half, they'd have folded it in half and put it in the envelope. <laughs> right. Hi, honey. Nine o'clock. You okay? Yeah. Did you take your next tramadol? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, what's really important on these images is that they do fully dry. Actually, actually, no, I should have laid a piece of paper down on them while they were wet and then let it dry and pull them up. That was her technique that worked all the time. 
What what did you just nope. do? Hang on. Nope. Hang on. I, let me think this through. Let me think this through. I'm trying to think how that lady did it. There's a few different ways to do it. There, there um, is, but I've only seen one person that's been able to make it work every single time she does it, and it works. You can pull it with They're amazing. White paint. They're amazing that prints. Nope, that's what I've done in the past, but it doesn't work okay. every time. It doesn't work every time. And so you pull it when it's still wet, then probably, right? Um, no, but hang on. Let me think this through. I got to think about what she did. What did she do? Oh, that one's going to pull. Perfect. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Okay. Nope. Okay. It does have to dry. This does have to dry. That's right. Um, I'm thinking, I'm remembering now we're going to make this, we're going to make this work. It's going to work. Um, keep, guys keep saying it's going to work. 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 It's got to work. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do with this one is just do a the, the vintage white because I've got all kinds of other things happening here and I want to see all of it. I want it to look like a really old piece of text. That'd be cool. Old parchment or something. Yeah. Okay, here's some. Oh, here's a good one. Well, this little face be good on an image pull, <laughs> image transfer. I think he'd be good. Oh, I, that's awesome! Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he'll be hilarious. So I'm gonna. You know me, I and think. I like funny things. That's super yep. Halloween. Yeah, let's see if I can't get a good. I'm going to have to do him on that big one. Okay. Um, can I fit one of these? She could fit on that little triangle. Let me paint before it dries. Julie said, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, dear, Marianne, you don't know what you're doing. No, I don't, Julie. I really don't. But <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I'm okay, gonna... so... You never know what you've got on your plate until you do that pull yes. because all of those things were not showing up. I mean, I knew about the age around the edges, right. but all this stuff in here That's wasn't really showing like that. Check that so, out. That is cool. That's probably my favorite of the whole night. I love that sheet. That, that pull was really good. Yeah. There's a lot of things like you can't see anything on this plate over here. I can see little remnants of the roses and then I know there's other things underneath it. You can't see them until you actually pull it. That's what Sharon got. That one is super cool. I love it. Oh my gosh. I can see the ladies' glasses. This one's going to pull nicely as well. Oh, I am so excited. I'm so excited. Is I'm that so Ruth excited. Bader? <laughs> um, no, it was like, it was somebody, in a, it was a waitress in a diner or something. Oh, really? So, I want to pull that guy. <laughs> on here i'm gonna i'm gonna have to ruin these roses i was gonna use them but i need this little corner i need this little corner right here for this funky guy all right so it is critical that so what i did is i put down thin black paint and then i pressed the image into it made sure I pressed it really well all over, and then I picked it up right away, did not let it sit on it and dry on it. And then I'm letting the black paint dry. It has to dry completely. That's the important part. I'm remembering now. The black paint has to dry completely. Yeah, I watched this lady do this and it worked every single time and it worked amazing. And I thought, I got to try that. I got to do it a few times and perfect it. And because it, it worked every single time and it was like, no big deal. There was no struggle with it. There was no, it's, it just works. And 
So that's why I thought, okay, that's the way to do it. Because I mean, the way I've been doing it, the way other people have been doing it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I want something that works all the time. All right, I'm putting the funny guy right here in the corner. I love this face. I hope this works really well. I'm just pressing him around really well to get him all the way down. And then I'm going to gently pick it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that face, Sharon. <laughs> That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <laughs> He's oh a good my one. gosh <laughs> so what you're doing is letting it dry all the way and then yes. so i put the okay. black paint down i put the picture down i rubbed it on the image and then i picked it up at, right away and now i'm letting the black paint dry completely 100 completely and this is where if it's taking a while or I, I just don't have time to wait where I would grab this and I would put it on low and cool. It's not going to hurt your gel plate at all. Putting it on, giving it some cool air is not going to hurt it at all. Those are dry. He's about dry too. Yeah, and it's pretty thin black paint, so it dries pretty quickly. Why do I always bring so much stuff to the desk when we're gel putting? Because I want to try so many things, and there's not time to try everything. So I always end up with this whole pile of stuff. Me too. Every single time. time. Every time. Whole pile of stuff that we didn't get to try. Do okay, you guys I do that to too? I want to know. Are we the only <laughs> ones, or is everybody on the planet that's gel plating... <laughs> pulling everything to their desk and then end up with a pile please tell us it's not just us please it takes like two weeks to put it away <laughs> there's so just, much of it sit down and gel plate five more times in the next couple of days <laughs> but then we would just cut more paper bring yeah. out more stuff. i mean come on <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> isn't that the truth though it is the truth Mm -hmm. is the truth. So I'm going to see if I can get the gold to show up. I decided to use that gold because it dries so fast. So I'm going to see if I can get it to show up with this uh, transparent red. But we'll see. Um, because usually you want to start out dark and go lighter. But if I can get that to pull up because it's transparent, it, it has a, a better shot. All right. I am going to try pulling these on deli paper. And hoping that's a good choice. And I'm going to use rice paper. Unless it's too wet for that. Maybe I'll use another piece of this cotton esque paper. Very cold. I didn't wrinkle it. It was like that when I got it. It had been <laughs> flattened, and so it's got like some pretty good creases in it. Oh, yeah. So, Almost. one of the things that's important is not brayering over it over and over and over again. Only brayering it as much as you have to to spread out your medium. And... Boy, I hope, look at this. I can see through the deli paper. I can see the images. Uh, I hope they pull because I can see them perfectly. These, this will, I love the picture of the cowboy in front of the Capitol building that I accidentally got the first time I did an image poll without even knowing what I was doing. But um, if this works, this will be the best image polls I think I've ever gotten or image transfers. They're not poles, they're transfers. Image transfers.
This reminds me of that uh, of Seth Aptor's uh, I Think Ice. Um, oh, really? Or that frosting that you had on your birthday cake when you were a kid and your mom made your cake. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay. Now this needs to dry completely before being picked up. That is a key. So this is where I will definitely take my dryer on low and make sure that this is drying completely. My brayer's getting paper stuck to it. It's time. Whoops. Off the floor. I'm going to pull this paper Yeah, piping gel. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool, Felicia. I'm glad. Hey, Margalo. Felicia's a baker. She knows it all. Have any baking questions? Ask Felicia. Margalo's working on a very large art table. Uh, have about <laughs> as big as uh, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that true? You start with this huge space and it yeah. gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, I gotta um, show you guys this. I'm not pulling this up yet, but I want to show you. Oh. Look at that. There's the gel plate with the deli paper on it. You can see the image clearly of the lady. Oh yeah, it's cool. And this one, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, Sharon. It is like beautiful in yeah. person. Check this one out, the cowboy. Oh, you yeah. You can totally see the cowboy on the there. I hope they pull. I hope they transfer the way they are supposed to because, man, they look cool. Paint looks really good on that paper. That will go in the Japanese journal I'm working on. Nice. Maybe I ought to do a few more with that paint. Yeah, so. it looks like it, it would fit in there. Yeah. This paint works really good on this paper. You can see every thread and all the texture in the paper in, uh -huh. you know, the handmade fibery paper. It almost has a, uh, a textured leather look. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then look at this guys, this whole chippy, like flake. I love the chippy edges. Yeah. That's my favorite. I don't remember what that picture was. All right. I'm not touching that. No, I'm not I'm sure which. It goes. But this one, come on, lady. Come on, lady. We're counting on you. We are counting on you. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Kill it. Look See that. Ah! Uh. She worked. All right, cowboy. Very cool. Counting on, counting on the cowboy. We're counting on the cowboy. So I haven't tried to mix this paint with anything else. Look at the cowboy. Uh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoa. It's definitely the Marlboro Man, huh? These are the best image transfers I've had. And I'm going to tell you what she does, what I just did that she does differently than everybody else. Or the first that I had seen it anyway. I didn't come up with it. Oh, don't tear. Come on. I like this guy. I want this guy. This is the funny guy. Oh, my goodness. Sharon, you're going to love this one. Oh. <laughs> love him. Love his face. Oh, my 
gosh. Love his face. Okay. I have never had image transfers come out this clean. Look at these guys. Huh. Uh, waitress. That's you can totally great. see her, see her glasses and her smile, everything. And the cowboy, he's awesome. You can see all the detail. So here's the deal. You saw me put down the black paint fairly thin. Um, I wouldn't say that I could see through it because you need to have enough for it to be wet, but sometimes you can see through it. It's the whole thing of not too thick, not too thin. And then I immediately put down the image. I just, I'm going to do these next. I put it down, rubbed the whole image a few times, made sure it was completely um, rubbed in, pulled the image off, let the black paint sit there and dry completely. I even used my hair dryer on cool to help it dry a little bit. Then where we have usually pulled it with white paint or ivory paint or something like that, this is what I used. An acrylic matte medium. It's acrylic, this one's a matte acrylic gel medium. It's a Vicky Booten. It doesn't, she used Liquitex. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters what the brand is. What matters is that it's an acrylic matte gel medium. And so instead of using white paint, she used acrylic matte gel medium. And I thought, wow, hers pull every single time they work for her. So that's what I just did. And five of five worked, worked perfectly. Those are amazing. I'm so excited. I, I cannot remember her name. I will find her name I, because I do want to credit her. I've got her saved in my, in my stuff. Um, I want to credit her because uh, I did not come up with that. I'm just following what I saw some brilliant woman do. It worked for her every time and it just worked for me five of five. So that's awesome, guys. Now we know how to get image transfers to work all the time. I no still have tried one ever. Figure out. I'm going to do these last couple of images that I have sitting here. I just put some black paint on to one of my other gel plates that's sitting here and just kind of used it as a palette. I didn't put it directly onto these. Um, that way I wouldn't get too much. So I just picked it up off of that one and, and uh, brayered it onto here. Oh, I hope he got his face centered. <laughs> this is a cool one. Maybe I can go this direction. Okay, so I put the image the down, I get. and I'm just rubbing the image to make sure I picked up that plate. I hope I didn't move the image when I did it. It's possible that I did, but they were overlapping each other. I should have checked that out first. I do have black paint still over here on this, on this uh, plate over here, so I'm going to grab this. I've got a couple other images that I cut that are sitting here. I'm going to grab both of them, see if I can get them side by side. This is not Elvis, but it's an Elvis lookalike. I'm going to put him down. And then this kid with his pig. How oh, cute. I'm going to put the kid with the pig down. See if I can get both of those. All right, so I'm going to lift that one up. I think we've got a good face. This one's a grandpa with a grandson. These are just little ones out of this book that I've been tearing up. Which book? Um, I, don't, I don't even know. It's just a book I've been tearing up. Um, well, not every magazine is the same or book. It depends on the ink right. that they use inside of it. That's why I'm wondering. Well, the um, most book pages are going to have better quality ink for sure. But... Um, well, I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the quality or the type of ink. Well, the or lady that I watched do it, she had, uh, she was only doing them from magazine images. Uh huh. I've only ever seen them, seen them done with magazine images. Yeah, she was using because she was using large ones, like you know where the full page ad is a woman's face. I didn't have any of those. I'd really love some of those. 
Um, she was using oh, okay. an eight by ten, an eight by ten plate, and um, uh, that one's. I didn't. Oh shoot, that's what I didn't do. I didn't clean this plate first, and they just stuck to the all the paint that's underneath the plate. That's why she said it's important to start with a clean plate. That one might work, but you can see this boy's face. You can see his face in that one already. And that, let's see. I think the grandfather's face might be off the page. I think that's the grandfather and this is the grandson's face. We'll see. All right. Let's oh, see. thank you, Felicia. We'll see you in the morning if you're gonna be uh, at the live then. Yeah, for sure. She's got to wind down from a craft rush. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us, Felisa. Felicia. Oh, wow, a tongue twister for me. Felisa. Um, or as where... I call her, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa and so Felicia. Sorry. We're going to be out of here. We're going to be out of here within a minute anyway. So thanks for hanging with us. We'll see you in the morning. Julie picked some leaves. Oh, that's cool, Sharon. Oh, cool. That's a thing. I like that one. I Well, this is one of the ones that had one of those big wrinkles. And it reminds me of some of those shirts I had 10 years ago yeah. that had, it looks like they have the wrinkles in them before they the print wrinkles them. are cool. Yeah. I might like this one better. Um, printed red. I think one of those was too. It's the other side of the pencil. That's what I should make a texture plate with is those mm -hmm. mask pencils I have with the, uh, the nature um, botanical ones I have. Oh, and they're yeah. more of a mask than a stencil. Uh-huh. They would make a great um, texture plate because oh, yeah. of that. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to go with um, gosh, color, color. All right. I haven't used Guys, any, any last questions for us. We got about a minute or two before we shut this party down. Don't forget, if you haven't already, to click on that link and go over and like and follow the Happy Paper People page. And then invite anybody else in the group to make sure that everybody gets a chance to like and follow and get notifications before the events start. You can see the little boy's face through that, even from... Oh. Up here on the camera. All right, I'm gonna hit these with the dryer. I went all sorts of willy nilly with my gloss spray tonight, or with my uh, roll off pages tonight. I couldn't yeah. be bothered with cleaning off enough space on my desk to make them wonderful. So I've just been like flipping them up and rolling 20 colors on the same one. It's been very bad. Uh, Lucy, you get good, you get good uh, image transfers every time. How do you do it differently? I have seen people use diff opposite colors and had it work, but I haven't seen anybody that it works every single time for them. And maybe it's just getting it down where we do it like this and then I just substitute the um, acrylic mm -hmm. gel medium for some other acrylic paint, but doing it the exact same. Maybe maybe that's it. I don't know. Computer. I want to get it down if I can get those dry, it actually goes pretty quickly oh yeah i put grandpa's face off the page whoops <laughs> ah, there's the little boy he turned out nicely 
Okay, let's see. What about Elvis over here? The little boy with the pig. That one's taking a while to dry. <laughs> yeah, Judy, try that technique out and see how it works. I Before I would get, some would work, some wouldn't. Not every time. But um, this was pretty good here tonight, getting them all, all to work like that. Maybe if I get this down, then I can go, uh, go back to trying colors and make that work. Maybe it's just a matter of getting a feel for how much to put down and when you put the paper down, when you pull the paper up, all those things. Maybe that's it. Missy, you've been doing this longer, haven't you? And you're probably, you, um, she's probably got that down for colors. All right. Yeah, don't over anybody, uh, has anybody used um, watercolor on the gel plate yet? I, I know there are tricks to it, and it's like um, using uh, soap on it. Uh, That's another night we need to try. We need to play with watercolors. Well, this is kind of having the watercolor effect that I think mm -hmm. I'm interested in. Uh, spraying it. I mean, it started with the whole mercury glass thing, but I like the idea of something that separates when you put it on there, and and that would happen mm -hmm. with watercolor. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Um, I, I have gosh, out one night to use, and I don't think I ever got around to using it. <laughs> one of those nights that we were doing, I don't remember what it was specifically we were doing, but I had gouache out, and I don't think. I don't think I ever got to it. So never did try it. Judy has it. it. Thank you, Judy. I'm uh, trying to add little spots of here and there. This is very liquidy. I should. All right. Any last questions before we bid you all good night and go see our hubbies. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope he's not listening in. <laughs> oh, man. No, Bill, she was just kidding. Really. He didn't seriously. watch. He would never <laughs> watch us back. Bill, <laughs> wow. your birthday, Bill, your birthday present is hidden under the <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's like Bill, I'm gonna show the ladies your birthday present. He still wouldn't watch. <laughs> nope. He wouldn't see it. There'd be no seeing that. I was okay, trying to get some of it off there before I did this. This one is on the round, the round one. It's where I was putting the black and brayering it onto these little guys. I just rolled it out, but I didn't clean it off first. So there's other colors underneath and they pulled on the picture when I laid that down and pulled it up. So that's a lesson. When doing an image transfer, start with a clean gel plate because this one's trying to pull the paper apart. Oh, all the other colors that have been sitting there, all the crusties are not good on image transfer. Even if we want them, they don't work well. Let's see if we got. Yeah, we did. Can't. Well, you see the pig's face. There's the little boy. Wait. There's a what? Pig. <laughs> what? Did you do really do a pig? Well, it's a little boy and he had a, he was holding oh, he had a, okay. like a little tie, a rope around the pig's neck and it was his pig. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gluing stuff together, holding it on my lap because I know I'm all on my table, Margalo. <laughs> oh, Margalo, you're one of us. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. 
Well, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us on a Saturday yeah. night. It was lots of fun, like it always is. We'll uh, do some more playing and get our favorite gel prints up or maybe even a project that we do with them. Uh, so watch for those and uh, show us what you're doing this week. We'd love to see it. Don't forget to put pictures up of anything that you made tonight so we can see what or you did at the same time. Alternatively, just your messy desk. That would work too. Make us feel Make better. Mind. <laughs> show us that messy desk. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Thank you guys right. for joining us and, uh, and we'll, we'll see you in the group. Good night.